always talking shit show. Yo. What's good? What's good? It's your boy Doc on. It's your boy King Magic. And you're back in tune with another session of the Always, always Talking Talk Shit, shit Show. show. Um, Podcast. Man, you know what, bro? I, Mark Mark Zuckerberg got me got us fucked up. What happened? Because we were just talking about it. So I'm over here getting on my mans, right? About this oh, nigga. Yeah, yeah, Hold on, yeah, let yeah, me okay. adjust these. Okay, I see what you're saying. I'm over here getting on my man's like, bro, you're not sharing the episode because I'm showing them how um, it's like two episodes ago. That episode's of like 1,000 views on Facebook. And that's because I'm sending it. You niggas have been getting spammed with it. I don't care. That <laughs> nigga said, I don't care. I really don't. Like, you don't like it. There's an unfriend button. <laughs> we gotta get our shit off, man. Right. Um. So this nigga's been hitting the share all to his. I don't even know how many friends I'm sure it's in the thousands And wondering why Like I'm not seeing I've been looking at some of you niggas Kind of sideways <laughs> I ain't gonna lie Like hey, okay You don't fuck with shit And I'm like I'm right. I'm always asking Like bro Do you share this shit Because I'm, I can see The shares of the episode Like I can see everything I can see what I do I can see what he does And I'd see the thousand That I've The thousand views That I got On my own From sharing it on my shit well, this nigga, I'm over here thinking this nigga ain't doing a goddamn thing. I've been getting on this nigga like the last two weeks, and I can tell he's been feeling some type of way. <laughs> um, you got to go get in these podcast groups, share it to every, all these shits, bro, because there'd be thousands of views out there, nigga. That shit's funny, though. Um, and I, that's not to say like I've always been on my shit because no, no, I no, just we, you see I just got the that up to a thousand. We on our shit, and we over here now. fifty to a hundred ep- views an episode. Otherwise, yeah, that's nuts. But this nigga was over here feeling slighted by the homies and shit. <laughs> I apologize to y'all for the thoughts I had. <laughs> he said, "Oh, you nigga, don't share nothing with glad me." I, yeah, I'm glad I ain't sh- I ain't shoot out at nobody. You know what I'm saying? Anybody, nigga, what you talking about? Yeah, I ain't never got a fucking notification yeah. from you. Cause niggas be asking me sometimes, mm-hmm. and I be kind of like, I don't know how to take it. Like, then you just saying that because we having a conversation. You know how that be? Like, you having a conversation with a nigga, you know something happened in their life that you don't really give a fuck about, but right. since y'all having a conversation, like, oh, how the how thing the is, you know? Right. Like, yeah, like so. I just was. Holding it close to the vest, like nigga, whatever, nigga, it is what it is. And nigga, fuck we do what we do. Yeah, man, I ain't trying to hear it. <laughs> that <laughs> no shit, shit funny. I'm not sharing none of your shit ever again. Not I know probably know how to share the shit. Uh, <laughs> I apologize. Hey, um, but I was trying to tell you, off off camera, man. I don't know if it's new news, old news. J Lo and uh, Ben Affleck are engaged to be married, right? It's, it's not definitely big news. old news. It's not big news to me, right? It's not big news to our platform. Shout out to them. Right, but I was like, "Damn, she got another ring, fam." How? I don't even know if I want to say it like that. How? How bad is J Lo nigga to keep getting all these rings? Well, obviously, bad enough. She keep getting Bro, them. You, you ever meet like hear of a chick that all of her exes want her? Mm. Nah, that's kind of wild. <laughs> I be thinking about some wild shit sometimes when I'm driving in the car with myself. That's what I was thinking that, like, because I heard it on the radio and shit. I was like, damn. Like, yeah, how J Lo getting all her old niggas? J Lo got game. She got something. She had Puff shooting at her again, trying to rekindle his old, the old thing. Serious? Yeah, uh, did a little video about right. all that. And that was before she went and, and messed with, started messing with Ben again. This is when she first got out and started fucking with uh, A-Rod. But I'm like, man. You mean, yeah, a she, she done had A-Rod, Puffy. Ben, twice. Mark Anthony. Mark Anthony. <laughs> Fam. And like. She be running Not to mention, him. she took a couple little dancers off, picked a couple little members. She had picked oh, off yeah, a little backup yeah, dancer or two or something like that, some regulars. Sure. She picked off. I respect her because she gave some regular niggas a chance. You know what I'm saying? 
She ain't just do it all celebrity. It wasn't just all celebrities and stars. So I respect that. But I just thought that was kind of crazy. Like, who who's in that category of the, of the new chicks? Like, who would be the new J-Lo in terms of? Is, or is it too early to tell? Right. Because cats don't be getting just recklessly married like that no more. Remember when we was coming up, like, celebrities got married quick. Remember, it was like a whole phase of, I know, like, all the little, like, pop bo- pop star niggas was getting married hella quick. They was just, like, men matching them up with other pop stars. Nigga, you mm-hmm. marry her, you marry her. You know what I'm saying? I just seen some little uh, dating show with, uh, what's his name, Nick Lacey? And right. remember the chick that he married? Yeah. She was bad back in the day. I can't think of her name. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, man, that show crazy, too. I can't think of the name of it. I want to give it a good plug, so I might hold it. But fam. <laughs> hey, would, speaking of like, what would it, what would you have to pay? What would I have to pay you for you for you to go on a dating show with your lady? Like one of them fucked up ones where we just like try to fuck y'all up. No, I'm not doing that. That's because that's what that show is. Shit dog, ever. It's some that's, wild shit out that's there. That's right for now. you. That's I if can't you, think of the name that's of the show. That's if you looking for a way out, justifiably. On like national stage, so where you can just they got like, you shit. see what happened. They got some shit, fam. Out That's here. like ninety day fiance. No, this shit, is crazy. Bro. Like they got some shit out there right now where they take you and your shorty. married at first sight. They take, they, you know, you all have some exclusive shit. Mm-hmm. They take you and your shorty. They do these little like private interviews. They find Temptation out Temptation Island but, type but shit, but on steroids because they find out everything you don't you like about shorty right. and everything she's bothered with by you. And they only getting couples that's only been there for a couple years. And you got and they in like they all in their twenties. Right, um, this shit wild, bro. Because you go on the date with the motherfucker that's everything you want, right? In a person, allegedly, like your dream person. Right? Fine. Yeah, you go on yeah. date with this motherfucker. Now that. this nigga comes back to the spot, and it's like a lounge, guys' lounge, girls' lounge. He just went on a nigga two day joint with your girl, nigga sleeping in the same bed, all that. They're out as a couple. Like, this is all set up. Like, you know, they paying big bread for y'all to go on couple date type shit. They making the ambiance to where you can smell. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, even if you don't, what happens is, is they make you, they make the new dude that's just looking for love. He starts falling in love with your girl. But y'all bunking in the same spot. And and vice versa on others. And one of the chicks just got out of the old girl was like, I ain't gonna lie. I like your man. Wow. <laughs> like, bruh. Just, just don't give a fuck. So, so what I've seen, because I've seen this shit, it's like already been a couple episodes. Right. So they doing some recap type shit. Shorty, dude, is like one of the dudes is smart, bro. I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna lie to him because he was there with his girl. They go to the rundown, nigga, with everybody there about why y'all there and what y'all need to wear. That nigga was just like, you know what? That nigga started looking around. He's looking at them females. He was looking at the dudes. More importantly, he was just like, because they get one last chance to leave, nigga, and just take your life, nigga. Bruh, get that. That nigga tapped this girl and was like, yo, we out of here. She's like, for real, baby? He was just like, fuck that. We about to get married. That's all he needed to see, nigga. Cause he, but look, this is, why, this is where he ended up being profound, like, and are prophetic. The nigga she was already with or the new nigga? No, the nigga that she was already with. This, this is one different couple uh, in the beginning. Like, because in the beginning, you get this little, like, moment where you like, hey, y'all can go down this, this path. Or y'all can leave. Yeah. But they done wined and dined you and just drink and food and maybe, you know, celebrity yeah, host and yeah. shit. So you like, man, we out here and like, let's do it, right? But this one nigga was just, he looked around, he looked at this girl, he was like, nigga, we gone. We gone. We ain't and doing then when this. she was kind of like hesitant, he was like, man, I'm not even gonna lie. He was like, you know what? He looked right this. at her and he was like, we about to get married. And she this was like, is, for real? Yeah, this shit. And he was just like, yeah, bro. Cause he kind of had to. He knew, like, he knew what he was about you know to what get it was? into. That nigga seen Temptation Island. Yeah, oh, yeah. Yeah. Like, I know <laughs> but, what this He didn't know what it is at first. Cause they probably nah, worded it right. weird. And but like, you the get other there, couples, like, nigga, when they start um, showing with the niggas, um, this one nigga, they're um, a good couple. They're a good couple. They look good together, all that shit, happy. They said they wanted to work it out. They wanted to be together, but they want, you know, they, they fell for the, oh, let's see if we can, you know, that, let's go on this journey together. Look, so look. Shorty gets in, nigga, swept off her feet by the mystery dude, right? So wept. The nigga. That's that, they, they get they these show, niggas on, on look, purpose. They show, the way they show it, it looked like he smashed, right? Yeah, he smacked him. Because they was actually in bad terms, like, when they got there. And 
over the course of her seeing him with other do- girls. Wait, was it a little blonde chick? Nah, this was like a, I don't, culturally I'm addicted. I don't know what the fuck she was. She looked I like. I don't know if I, I so like, saw this. I'm just seeing just a little shit, right? So like, she have, she goes, she, is she foul with old boy, right? Foul. Old boy come back and shit and he talking to old boy about it and shit all in his face like playing cool because I think he like, man, I'm about to get these. But she like, you know what? She starts seeing her dude yeah, and, she and don't realize like, that like shit. nigga and realize like, you know what? Fuck like this that. shit. I'm going to drop a dime like, on that. Yeah, like, <laughs> and now she like, nigga, I want to, nah, fuck that. I'm going back. I want to, and she she ends it because like, you can check out whenever you, you get your epiphany. Hey, right? nigga, after you no, smash hold on, wait, my no, shit, He don't know bro. yet. This is oh, the fucked up part about nah. it. So, nigga, because nah. of when she left, fam, nah. she gets to leave. They cheering him on like, oh, y'all, y'all going to do y'all thing. They, he happy and shit. Like, yeah, fellas, man, good luck. You know, I got mine, right? They do their little shit. They leave. Bruh. The the back footage, that B-roll shit, they ain't, he, he wasn't there. He's not there for that. That's coming out, though. Oh, that's coming out on the show. So, on the show, now that you decide to leave the show with Shorty and dub all the girls that you could have left with, after right, she, she, she didn't got she nigga, nigga miss, she didn't in there got nigga a uh, You he know, probably pound her shit. Right. Yeah, out, man. You know you're trying to steal this Come bitch, on, so he bro. was in there. He was on his A game. They probably gave him all the shits, <laughs> nigga, and all that. Right, so that nigga's in there killing her, bro. Shit. They and so <laughs> I, I thought of myself. I was like, bro, I don't know if I've ever been in a relationship I'm glad that's strong you. enough to go on that show. Nobody's relationship is strong enough for that show. Cause if you there, you you right, halfway there, like right. That's if you're willing to go there. Bro, because the you gotta first understand, place, if, you're if they throw some out. baddies, nigga, they half are, naked. No, here's the that's problem. That's with it. Here's the problem. They gonna throw the and baddest. The they gonna throw the baddest bitches in front of you. On top the of that, they gonna throw the baddest put together bitches in front of you. That's with on it. On the other side, they going to give you Prince niggas Charming, is, this nigga. Oh, yeah, I own a couple yachts, nigga. Companies. Like, nigga, yeah, like, all that. Nigga, like, yeah, what you what, what you with this nigga for? I guarantee they has dick size. Pause. Yeah, big pause. I guarantee, bro, that's got to be a criteria. You think so? Nigga, you're They measure at Jimmy's? Take, you're trying to take a nigga You talking about, yeah, the, the setup dudes that they got? Yeah, yeah they probably. They, these niggas is probably real sex workers, for all we know. Bro, got swipers. These probably real sex sex workers, though. <laughs> They got their fucking the soul out your. Hey, bitch. this is crazy, dog. Like when I seen the show, I was like, man, this is where our generation. Like you said, if is you're doomed already, when if it comes to willing marriage. To go on there, you already got one foot out the door. Fam, this because motherfuckers who are comfortable, it ain't got, and that's the thing. Motherfuckers gonna be like, oh, the you producers is foul. Motherfuckers gonna be like, oh, you gotta be comfortable in your relationship. I don't give a fuck how comfortable you See, are they in think, your relationship. I think the the misnomers people think that like they, I don't know why. But they be thinking about oh, like this is a show about love and finding no. love, nigga. They got all kind it's of traps. It's about breaking your shit up. Because some of that time, like nigga, you could just have a a, a faulty looking situation. With, what if you go with the new nigga and the new nigga ain't shit? Yeah, that was all staged. <laughs> or what? If, like, what if it wasn't staged and it's just one of them things where like you really see the dude for the dude? It's like, oh yeah, I fucked up. Well, being real, how do you cash in <laughs> on? Okay, I've been with this person three to five years, two to five years. We I think go to I this. think I want to marry them. Right, and, to and then out. I really like this person. He's hella fun and exciting. Bashed my back in, or she effed me up, like you know, did my thing, whatever. It's great. Um, they done got you. I don't only, know if I like you. They fam. done got you a OnlyFans special. Right, I don't know if I like you in a month. And then when you take all, of, see, this is the thing though, fam. Like if you get the jump off in the big baller suite with per diem. Chef and maid, like you eating five star every night, and it's just for a month. You driving around nigga, in luxury. You got wardrobe. And you, ain't gotta, you don't even got to bring your real life to the table. Right. You just in there just having fun, mm-hmm. living somebody else's life, like living out a fantasy. And this person's falling in love with that. Hey, bro, we're sick. Because I'm watching this shit like I got to figure out the name of this because I, I woke, I was half asleep, bro. And I remember I kind of woke up off and I'm like, damn, this shit wild. And I went back to sleep and woke up mad because I didn't know what show I watched. And was thinking that, like, I got to find that show, fam. I definitely got to find that show. There you go, Matt. My guy. Oh, yeah. I was hollering at Matt. I got your message, too, about uh, we're going to have to get Matt on, on do some finance, financial shit. 
But um, there ain't no motherfucking way. It's called on to the next one. Yeah, ain't that's the they, name of the show. Just ain't no way. That show crazy. I'm putting myself in through any type of shit like that. Like unless I'm looking for a justified way out. To me, I'm like, fam, I don't. That's a brutal way out. It's not just. It's not. Well, technically no, not. No, you're not. If you justified. really genuinely want to leave, and you don't care if she gets swept off or if you be happy, like, and yeah, you're trying to get. Swept you probably off trying to say, hey, fam, kiss her right here. You probably. Yeah, you <laughs> like, might be. Like, nigga. Yeah. So, uh, I just don't believe you can be introduced to someone on a show and genuinely like have. This is gonna sound crazy. Right. And, and fall in love with them. Now, that's just because I'm, like, built to be like, oh, it's TV, it's some bullshit, right? But niggas that fell in love with girls in a nightclub, nigga, that they met and kicked it with a few times afterwards, nigga, and went on to have relationships and kids with them. So it's not far-fetched when you really think about but a person falling for somebody. But it either way. I know. That's what I'm saying. That, see, the thing is, the idea is that it's fake. It's that it can't grass, go the other It's way. that grass is greener on the other but you, side. And you know shit. how, and we, as men, we all know Find how women. Find out that shit's nothing but turf over How there. women, at their affection, can become very attached and right. emotional. They might not all the way be in love with you yet, but they on, on that street. And if nigga. you they bash walk in. their brains in, if you if you, better yeah. than what they're getting at home. Well, sometimes different is always better. Yeah. And and imagine imagine this, especially if you're talking about relationships and individuals that's not really out there cheating and shit like you really been with this dude for three years four years five years just this dude but how you in okay but hold on my it's like how you with somebody that long but it's that easy for the next nigga to smash your shit but that's what that's i'm trying to tell you no, that's problem. what i'm trying to tell you you want me to tell you how this is what i peeped, I peeped about that's a this. problem no, i'm gonna tell you how bitch you're an issue no, like, let me explain you're it. a whole slut let me explain it. no 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 let me explain it it's psychology bro I don't give a fuck. no 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 for the men too I'm not doing it. For both sexes. It's a I'm psychology. I'm just saying. All right, all right. Let all right, me go explain. Ahead, go ahead. Wardrobe comes, puts a brand new Rolex on you, nigga, in an Armani suit. Some Ferragamos on your feet. Nigga, hold on, hold on. Y'all driving over to this spot, and then you're driving over to this spot, and they, they got you driving in something foreign, right? You're going into this penthouse that looks like, nigga, a, it's just a baller penthouse. Like, the, the, the ambiance. It's like those lights at the strip club. That covers all those women's blemishes and over makeup patches and I shit, hate right? The fucking strip and then club. when those lights come on, nigga, you be like, yo, all y'all look different, right? <laughs> now, just the thing, no disrespect, I'm not being funny, right? But like, when you start thinking about that, now you take Shorty. She got her hair and makeup done, nigga, by some of the best in the game, right? Right. They're making them feel like celebrities, bro. They're making them forget for a month, that three you months, regular six months, as hell. that you're not a millionaire, that you can't afford that five star meal, and you don't have a chef on deck that's cooking anything you want. Nigga, them these shits be having unlimited supply of alcohol, liquor, and you know probably some other shit. So you doing your thing? They keeping you in a, in an ambiance. <laughs> they might have a couple celebrities pop up, right, to come hang out at or the house. Or you might go to little events and shit, right? right you know, you, and you meeting and taking pictures with celebrities. Right. That's really going on your Instagram and you like and now your people hitting you like oh girl you got bitches hitting you like girl you, you better be do what you do him. you remember when that nigga did you like that for so for that one girl and the other I thing mean, is like about this it, ain't, and other thing is like this ain't this dude's life this is the show they it's don't the know that though facade. nigga it, this nigga don't live like this you know what they are they your mans at the video shoot yep you get the video budget you gonna be fly, yep. nigga. Show video. Yeah, I'm your man's nigga. You gonna? I'm be, in the video. Right, you finna be I'm fly. I'm gonna be fly. Yeah, that's the thing. So shorty that comes, she might be attracted to me. Right. And I'm fly. But she you, can't see the difference. Right. She don't know that I'm just your man, nigga. I got a regular right. nine to five, nigga. We shoot a podcast. I'm not a rapper. Or I'm you not might star. not. You might not even got a regular nine to five. I could be a bum nigga. You just that just got, roll your weed up. Right. Right. I might. You know. You might. But my nigga. That's I could just, be your weed roller, nigga. Right. Like, they don't know. Or so you now, might not even be broke, broke. But you ain't well, the, the thing, main no, no, nigga in bro, the circle. Because what happens is, if you know how how we how real ones give it up. Right. If you own, I'm on. If I'm on, you own. So right. nigga, even if you the broke dude. Right, you still like got, technically, you still, right? You you not broke, but you're because just nigga, not you, him. You whipping in something, right? Nigga, you got a little loaf in your pocket, right? Your gear is nice, but you know you're not saying? the source. But of when she that, start peeling them layers yeah. back, you can't put in the call and get me this. Nope, you can't. Woo, woo, woo. Or like, you know what I'm saying? You got to put in the call to put in the call to get that. You got extra mans to put me on, right? Like, I gotta woo, woo. And he might try to smash me, and I'm I'm might let him. 
Paul. Like, well, dude, what can you do? Right. And he might broke hole. He might be doing you a solid if she if she let him hit. <laughs> Think about this scenario: millionaire, right? No, just real quick, millionaire, right? And from our culture, millionaire, millionaire's friend, mm -hmm. millionaire's friend takes on liking with girl, right? Girl, they hit it off, boom, right? right. She kind of a little high maintenance, whatever, but it's good, right? Right. She either shoots her shot or millionaire shoots his shot. Mm -hmm. But y'all real friends. So millionaire hits you like, bro, I woo 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 nigga, she came over. I smashed him. Millionaire just, sa just saved you a roadblock. Right. Millionaire just did you a favor. A whole solid. And in a certain world, they'll be like, oh, he's a piece of shit. He screwed his friend. Hey, bro, if you were willing, if I can't be LeBron's best friend without mm -hmm. my girl sneaking trying off. Trying to fuck LeBron. Trying to, be, trying to be Savannah. Right. Fam, I don't need her because there's a million women that can be my girl and become LeBron's sister. Right. And Savannah's sister. Right. And we be happily ever, we, we do our thing, right? Mm -hmm. So it's just a weird way of looking at it, but, you know, Floyd had a situation like that. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, these Temptation Island shows ain't shit. Yeah, that's just dangerous, dog. And they knew exactly, like, they know exactly what they're doing with the show. They get psychiatrists to participate in the ambiance, dog, and, that and, creates and this. It's like the psychiatrists who are doing the questions and shit, they're already knowing who's going to fail, and they already know all that shit. Like, they're already being like, oh, I can tell by the way they talk. It's over with them. Oh, that's what's up. She let him get smashed. Hey, bro, the funny thing is, though, I think the show is really called on to the next one, though, man. I'm not sure. I'm going to look it up. I'm going to find it. I'm going to let y'all know personally. But I really think it's called on to the next one. Bro, okay, so talking about, like, let's talk about some bold shit that happened to me today. Like, Word. so I wake up from a nap, right? Go on my phone. And then my, um, <clears throat> my messenger on Facebook, somebody I don't talk to, some random female, right? It's on my friends list. Like, hi. Right. I'm like, what's up, yo? And she's like, um, my friend, hold on. Let's go through the. Um, okay. The shit was on some like, are you serious? There's a fucking weirdo. So she's like, hi. I'm like, what's up? She's like, what you doing? I'm like, chilling and smoking. You? She's like, I want a sugar factory drink. I'm like, uh. I'm like, that's what's up. Why don't you go get one? Buy me one. I'm like. You really hit me up <laughs> on that? I was like, ain't no hey, fucking fam, tricks Does that work? I, hold on. I was like, ain't no tricks or weirdos over here. I was like, does that actually work? I was like, matter of fact, have a good night. I hope you find what you leave. I hope you get Hope you get your sugar factory drink, Basically, drink, I said, what the fuck is wrong with some of y'all females? Us. Not me. No. When I say us, I mean males. What I mean by that is, and I'm not caping, but it's Bro. a lot of niggas that would do that. It's a lot of niggas that'll go fire up that Audi, nigga. Put on their best gear, nigga. Get dressed. Fuck out of here. Swing by the ATM, take some dough out, and be like, yeah, my where you at? I'm here. Fuck. Well, fuck you. And then what she gonna do, because I got sisters, fam. She gonna show up with two of her friends, nigga. Yeah, that shit. <laughs> she gotta dude. buy all them bitches drinks. And <laughs> she ain't leaving with you, nigga. You stupid <laughs> like, she niggas. was leaving with her friends. Right. And now you just in that category for the rest of her life, nigga. That right. Oh, if I want I, some fucking it, sugar drinks, nigga, I'll call you. Yeah, this <clears throat> what I was a... bothered. That's I feel you. It's you should be I, I, was, I was bothered insulted. that you Yeah, exactly. Like she would even fix your fucking like, like lips what? to even come into my fucking DM with some shit like that. Bro, you know what I hate? And I don't know, like, I'd be like, damn, I might not ever find a, I might not ever get married, fam. Not on some, like, I'm holier than thou. There's a lot of bitches that probably don't want to marry me neither. Like, I'm foul. All right, I got some issues myself. But, fam, you know how many times a normal-ass female hits me up? How you doing? Or, right, hey, cutie. Hey, handsome. Now, I've experienced <laughs> that in real life. Who the fuck are you? Hold on. <laughs> But I've experienced that in real life. A right. female has actually walked up to me and said that before. So I'm not really just jumping out of my body like, oh, shit. But like, in like this is person, fake. I, I'm not, I feel that. But even in person, it's different. I know what like, I'm saying. Right. So because of that, my brain, I ain't, you know, I'm still like, okay, well, I'll entertain it for a minute. Because I'm like, who the fuck is this? Right. And you look normal and everything's good. Like, we chopping it up. Now, I'm not all the way dumb to this. Like, I get it. This could be a whole 
fat bald man nigga mm -hmm. behind the computer screen but we chopping it up and i'll go click on your shit look nigga like okay these real pictures of it's, you, a, like, real it's a real ass person the one i'm referring to is a right. whole real ass like individual so you check all that out while they're doing a little small talk because you know it's coming I'm always thinking about the, you know. Nigga, you damn near just hit me in the face. My fault. My fault. That's You know me, bro. I be talking <laughs> with my hands. I'm thinking about the, like, check up my page. Woo, 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 right? Just the fucking audacity. So I be waiting for that so I can curve it. Right. Fam, they ain't even doing the, uh, what's the shit called, nigga? Uh, almost called it my space, the, uh. What's the shit? The one that you used to be mad at. That all the people do the uh, they load the website. OnlyFans. OnlyFans. Right? Uh, so I'm thinking like, okay, but it don't even be the OnlyFans chicks no more. Like, no, it, it don't. It'd be a regular chick hitting me like, yo, uh, here's my cash app. Do you want to see my blowjob videos? Taking in the app, like, I be and it'd be like norm dog. When I say it'd be normal, it'd be normal little shorts. You look on that shit. Oh, you work at the bank. <laughs> yeah, you just be like, like bitch, what the? What fuck? makes you think we got money to just be throwing out? And if I did, what makes you think the I'm secret. the one that's doing it? This is what I don't understand about them. They need to know that everybody that's paying them is they stalker. Yeah, because I'm like, fam, do you know that all the shit y'all doing, we can watch professionals do it for free? For free. And then you do know what their argument to that is? It's not personal. You can't get personal and talk to these people and send them messages. And all. bitch, whoa, I don't, whoa, whoa. why the fuck I want to even now, message you? Like, I'm, a, I'm a single heterosexual man, so I, you know, I, fuck, I, I fuck with porn. They're liars. I'm a wait, wait, no, let me, let me, just, let, let me address that. Right. I don't want that rumor and that mistruth <laughs> out there. The fuck you talking about? If you comment. Go to xvideos.com, nigga, and comment on one of them pictures, one of them videos, and see on Shorty hit you back and be like, thanks. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm going to be in so-and-so at the meet and greet this week. Nigga, when you want to come? Nigga, they do be talking back. Nah, now, but she's talking about, like, personal content. You can't hit them up and be like, hey, I, wanna, I want you to put a banana in your ass or you fuck yourself with a cucumber type shit. Again. Are they not aware that, nigga, you can do that? <laughs> you just got to go to chat. The, you the just got to hit the chat button and get on their chat shit. But the web, that's cost money is what I'm saying. Well, yeah, oh, that's uh, what I get. Yeah, I've never done that, saying. but I'm just saying. All like, that type of shit. I haven't either, but, you know, it all campsites and shit. I was going to try and open a cam fucking house with, like, four or five cam girls and shit. But cam website, they get paid for that shit. So you can tell them what to do, yeah, and but you're going to pay them little donations and shit to do it. So why do they think that OnlyFans is some new revolutionary thing? That they're not saying that, but oh. the argument that porn is free, they're saying you get a more personal experience on OnlyFans for the price. Do they understand <laughs> that when a man is done watching porn, the <laughs> moment, hold on, no. the moment <laughs> that you're done watching porn, the shit is disgusting? Like, I'm just saying, do they understand that? Fam. <laughs> What's a nigga nut? I can't be the only wanna... person that feels disgusted nah, cause right they... after they done. Nah, like, it's the same way we, watching this shit? It's Let the me... same way we, we like fucking chicks sometimes, nigga. We'll nut and be like. A young man. Can that's for sad. Can you. A young. I'm done. Come on, bro. Like, like I need you to go. Like, I don't feel the same way. I t I'm not lusting for you anymore. <laughs> Once the lust is gone, like, it's shit like, changes I just realized game. right now like, I don't even like your presence. Right, I like I like fucking you, and that's that's in that moment you'll know how you really feel about an individual after you fuck them. And that's why the game is fucked up. If you nut and you're like, eh, like I'll fuck you continuously, but I don't want your company after. That ain't well, it. unfortunately, man, in our society, like you don't really sometimes under male and female. I'll be fair, you don't really unlock your true personality until after the intercourse. Right. Yeah. That's real. That's when you really like, fam. But I forgot what comedian said it. Nigga said, "See how you really feel about this female, nigga. Jack off where you go see her. If you still want to go spend time and end up fucking again, that means you really fuck with her. But nigga, if you jack off and you be like, man, fuck that. Like that ain't really shorty. Like you just want to. Hey, you know what? As much off. as I want to deny that shit because it sounds so, so real. archaic. I'm just be real. We on our pod, keeping our keeping it real, talking our shit. That shit is like I didn't had moments where you know, shorty get off around, whoa, and I might have been you know. I need to drop I mean, the doing get a little this off real quick. I got you know. I, I did what I did, right. and I was just like, nah, I'm curving her. Nigga. I'm about to go actually go uh, go home. I'm just gonna chill here. I'm gonna and watch stay. Yeah, fucking, I'm gonna stay here. Watch CNN, and see what the fuck Don Lemon talking about. And then I'm gonna watch this podcast and do this. And go Any sleep. nigga who's ever like, watched porn and beat his dick knows what we're talking about and has been where we are. 
and has and knows exactly the scenario. I would say the release. Any man that's experienced the release. The release of sexual energy. Sometimes, uh, like, that's all you're looking for. You're not even looking for... Hey, can we talk the, the about it, though? The companionship of the individual, How, nigga. You this is yourself, why... You'd be like, I'm cool. I don't even need to go see this person now. Bro, this is why I always... I I, I, I was raised by a respectable woman, so I, I, I like... I have a thing for women that are respectable, right? Okay. But I respect certain type of women because... Fam... What is the world if there if, if we really living by the like fake shit, right? So what let me be articulate. Like how is the world gonna be if no woman out there is down for just a one night stand or just a hookup, sneaky link? This is an evil world. Nigga, I don't wanna be around niggas that can't go get their shit released. Oh nigga, it would be a real You know how much and this sounds it'd be chaos. And I don't even want to go too far until we get to a different spot, like landing space, because you know what I'm saying? Shit is sensitive. But when you look at them old archaic ass movies and see how they be taking their brides and shit. <coughs> be a lot of that shit. I'm again. just saying, fam. You bring out the fucking worst of men. I don't know why it's like we that. We don't condone it. We don't condone it at all. You're right. I'm glad you said that. But it's wild, right? Like, But we know what we know that. That, that that thing is out there that exists. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like it you know, it sucks, man. That's why like women should be protected because that that exists for them. You know what I mean? Here's a here's in the end where I feel bad for a lot of these women is like most of these men just lust for you. Cause most men are taught to just lust for most you. Most of these men after a nut don't even want to deal with you no more. You know, you know what it is though? You know what it is? Except if they're your stalker. Most men I shouldn't say most. A lot of men aren't comfortable around women. I'm serious. A lot of men, if we brought three, four women and just sat them in this room, this whole there, that take this thing that we're doing right now. They start, it, the they whole dynamic talk will change. Much, yeah. The whole dynamic will change. The way they talk will change. The way they carry themselves will change. The way they act will change. The way that. Some dudes are like this, and we all call them corny. If you a certain niggas type of start breed. acting out and be hella extra, niggas like he don't be. Jokes. Yeah, he's the toughest nigga in the room. Now he bragging about everything that he's got. The dope, life. got the bread, and all that shit. <laughs> nigga, no Jay Z. Nigga was in the studio last night. Nigga, not a nigga making you be a hater. Because <laughs> you just right. Once you be like, nigga, you don't do you none of that. Lies, nigga, like, fuck is you Now you gotta be about? the hater and be like, that nigga don't got a Lambo. Nigga, go look outside, see that nigga. That nigga, roll with me. Like, like if we gonna be a buck, nigga, that's and it's cardinal rule. You don't, don't do that. Yeah, but just but don't like, make nigga, me feel like I need to be that guy. It and that's what I'm saying. So like, and the thing is with me, you know females do it to their old girls you know too. We not even gonna be that guy, nigga. I'm just gonna laugh at you after the fact, like, bro. You know how corny. Or you, you can't nigga? come around when females are around. Yeah. If you're the nigga that don't ever got a nothing funny to say. And now you're a comedian because girls are in the room. Like, it be like that. So you see that type of shit. So you know that, like, women's presence has an adverse effect on certain men. And I be always, I've always been, do you ever know the dudes that, like, I know dudes <coughs> that when you talk to them about females, or if you see a female, like, female come up, oh, what's up, Keem? Like, how you doing? I'm like, what's up? Like, why you ain't calling me? I'm going to call you. And they're like, damn, nigga, why you ain't calling? Nigga, I'll do this, do that, I'll do that, woo, woo. Nigga, I'll make that bitch. Nigga, I'm not, start, I'm not lusting for her, thirsty for her like, like that. Crazy. You be like, man, right. I'll, I'll make. And it, it, be, it goes it go past just like, oh, I'm a player. That's what I would do. You just are. Because we all yeah, dogs to an extent. You, we all be like, nigga, boy. Now I, you sound like a weirdo, nigga. But when they, you know what I mean? I'm talking about that. It'd be like, nigga, I'll make that. Oh, she got a car too. I'll make that bitch do this. Oh, she got that. Oh, I'll make her. And I'll be, and, I, and so like sometimes I'll be asking. I'll be like, bro, do you hate women? Mm-hmm. Like, we really be got to ask ourselves, some men really hate women. So, like, when I be asking myself, how does a motherfucking party in Chicago or in Philly with a bunch of young women, beautiful women in it, right? Young fly dudes in there to court those beautiful women. How does that, how does 30 people get shot in that environment? Mm -hmm. Like, I always wondered. And I knew these, I knew niggas like this when I was a shorty. And, you know, even when I got a little older, I knew niggas I was capable of, right? 
But I would always think it was weird of the dude that comes to the where all the women are scantily clad. With the energy of killing somebody. Yeah, you're supposed to be here trying to get some pussy. But then I ask myself, a time, is, that a, is that a possibility for those type dudes? It is, but they they no, don't have... The, I mean, in their mindset. Based, no, I was about on, based to say, on their life. I was about to say they don't have the right mentality. Based on their life but and their experiences, right? I was about to say that right? they don't have the right mentality. Now, now let's just, look at it. Who's the shooter? The, nigga, the shooter's the nigga that's willing to go to jail. The nigga that's probably institutionalized, institutionalized or the nigga that ain't been around a lot of females. Or we know niggas like this, and niggas going there strictly to rob a nigga. Are the females... That they've been around have been extra authority, and have handled them harsh blows like the the the, the female CEO, nigga, the motherfucking female judge, the female district attorney, right? Your mom that you might have felt like didn't hold you down a certain way. Now you 19, 20 years old, and if you ain't enjoying the fruits of being a young boy, you hurt. You might because you locked up, nigga. Are you this? Like you might really be on some like nigga. Not nah, ain't saying no 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 uh fugazi, but like. You might be on some like fuck these bitches, and you might gravitate towards it when nigga Snoop is a fucking female magnet. I've been around Snoop, been on tour, nigga. Female, he be having females around. Right. He's a ladies' man. He didn't really mean bitches ain't shit but holes and tricks. He was rapping. Certain females he was talking about. Yeah. There are certain niggas that live by that code, and that's their motto. Mm-hmm. And it's like, fam. You don't have a daughter, sister, niece, aunt, female cousin, girl, best friend. Like you ever see certain dudes, and it's like they're in po- like in their mind, niggas are incapable. Look, I get. I'll, I'll use a, a a prime example. I've heard Pac talk about Jada. I've heard Jada talk about Pac. I've heard of all of Pac's friends and closest people around him speak about their relationship like brother or sister. Mm-hmm. When you watch. Post a picture of them on the internet right now. She's missing Pac's dick right now. She wish he was fucking her. Like, some people just can't fathom. And see, I know niggas close two, to two close people. to Pac who never said that he was fucking on her either. So I don't believe he was. Right. Like, so where's your proof? You know what I'm saying? It's Pac. But Pac wasn't. And, but here's and the that's thing. my thing. Pac it's was, Pac I, and it's even, Jada. Even, Jay-Z, even not Jay-Z. Even uh, Munn and them will tell you about Pac. Pac wasn't a ladies man like that. No, I know. Like, well, I don't know, but I've heard that. Yeah, Pac wasn't. I see that. Pac wasn't there at the show trying to get. he nigga, Pac was getting money and on some revolutionary shit. And, and the women at came. At that time. And the women came. Right. Like I had a coach tell me once. He was working me out. And he said, uh, he was at a camp. And he said. Hold on before you say that. Look at this one statistic with Pac. How many kids Pac got? Hey, that's a good question. Let me. I'll answer that, but I'll, it's it's deep. Cause nigga, I'm old enough to remember a rumor of Pac having a child. But right? I don't. But, but I, I don't think you, he has. But it may. I don't think he has a child. Let like money, them tell it. There's no kid. I mean, I can't. I'm not going to dispute it. <clears throat> but I'm just saying, like, <clears throat> if you take that statistic alone, that there's no child out right. there by this man. Niggas who out there fucking hella women. Nigga, look at Tristan Thompson, nigga. Different type of money, though. But Pac had bread. Pac no, didn't, didn't have millions and millions like that, but Pac had women around him like Snoop did. Like you saying like that. Pac was a... Was a was a Pac was a sex symbol. Yes, but so wasn't. I, so I know Pac, Pac was that's a sniper. Why that, that's Pac was why, a sniper. But that's why that rape case was so far-fetched. Because, nigga, Pac ain't even out here thirsting for well, females like that. The case that he got, it wasn't more so about him raping her. It was more so about him being in charge of the environment. And it'd be like us having a little mixer right here, and then a girl gets raped upstairs or in one of your bedrooms. Somebody's young. No, no, no. Ass. Like just a girl. Yeah. Same shit. Or just a, it's the same shit. Yeah. That's what it was. Host a party, and that's what that's what made Pac fall out with uh she with the goons. With somebody with them real goons. I ain't gonna say no names. You know, mm-hmm. uh, that boy in them mm-hmm. because in the media he was just like, man, this ain't me. This them. Like, why am I being charged with this? Like, y'all keep saying my right. name. And they, I got these hanger on her, and he kind of dismissed them. But that's why and I don't some think. some of Haitian Jack's shooters didn't like that. And Haitian Jack said, oh, that's my nigga Pac. He got to do what he got to do. I think Pac. Leave it alone. And they, you know, allegedly. I think on. Pac was one son, one of them real player ass niggas who knew. Like, nigga, I'll fuck any bitch in here. Well, I just think That's that, for you niggas to do. I think that certain men. 
or not even player. He would just that carry that, himself. He was well. Like, that's how we describe it. No, this is for you niggas. That's how we would describe yeah, it. You know, like in plainest term, like this for you. Player. Yeah, this for you niggas. But if you look at those dudes that that hit those marks, mm. they don't really acquiesce to anything. Mm. They're all different, mm. but they all have similar qualities, and they're usually inner qualities like confidence in self. Look at Kanye. Individuality, like, bro. Look at Kanye. Kanye is a fucking sex symbol to some women. Women around him. Not some women. He's he's definitely oh, yeah, at the sex symbol yeah. mark. Mil- sure. Before even billionaire, hundred millionaire. Right. Nigga, Co- like he decided. Uh, when, late registration, easy. Was he decided before that moment, I was out when of here. he was finna have kids. Right. Decided who he's having kids with. Decided who he's finna marry. Look at LeBron. Women around him. Chase him down. Been with the same girl since middle school. Nigga. That's a choice. And that's, but he's player because all his niggas around him probably fuck the baddest bitches. You ain't see that video that just went viral with him running away from them right. groupies? But he, when he goes out, he buys the bar for his niggas. And you're not going to, I watch Little Giants, nigga. I know the manist- manifestation station of, uh, what do you call that shit, nigga? That little play that nigga made up with him. It was just a misdirection. Mm. I know the misdirection, Brian. Let it go viral or you running from him. Yeah. Y'all, yeah, whatever. This nigga, LeBron's the type of nigga to buy the bar, don't drink. Just like they saying this ASAP is, didn't cheat. Yeah, I know. This is for y'all. I do this for y'all. I bought this bar for y'all. These bitches in this VIP are for y'all. And, and, this is important. If LeBron is going to step out, there's, a lot of women are going to disagree with this. There's a certain class and respect that he has for a significant other that... He might tell her. No. It might be a Even if he don't tell her. Situation. But... Y'all not gonna see it. Oh, not at TMZ all. is not gonna see never. it, nigga. It's never gonna be like you know what I mean. Like, like I want to, I, I want to know. Russ. Russ was on the pod. That nigga said, "I know it's, some females look at me crazy. Some of them even leave. You can't come in my house without a penis pause and not sign an NDA. Like we're not doing that. Yeah, because the I clout, the shit. money is in the clout, fam. Yep." Like, think about what, my, what we was talking about all there, what my nigga Ming could have did. He could have been all in the tabloids, nigga. Was like, Millionaire. Dog off that. We talked about it. He would have been a fucking star. We were smoking, laughing about it. Like, bro, that's crazy. Nigga. Mingo would have right been. Now. Mingo would be a rap star right now. Superstar. If he, especially if he attached that to it. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's. Start that's, putting it in music. That's, that's where we are in the world now. Nigga put it in music. He did what he do. Yeah, nigga, he would be a star. Like the dude that was messing with Coco. Can't think of his name. That got his numbers up. There's a certain shit. It'd be, it'd be weird shit like we're that. We're just cut from a different cloth, though. We're not going to talk about certain shit. Nigga, if we get to smash you Coco. Right. That's how they measure their worth, mom. You're right. If we smash Coco, we holding that. That's why I'm mad at August House Lena. That's why <laughs> I keep saying that this is all his fault. <laughs> all of it. Bro, we've always heard w- rumors of Will and Jada. They ain't never broke up. They still together. Their kids healthy. Say what you want about Will and Jada, but if Will and Jada wasn't Will and Jada, you wouldn't have Jaden. Say what you want about Jaden. If Jaden Smith wasn't born, Flint would still have dirty water. Let that sink in. You got a fucking kid in Calabasas that creates a filter with some of his fucking rich, smart friends, nigga, and, and fly down on their own dime to... Detroit, they are to uh, Flint to save the day. With all these millions of dollars has been donated and ain't shit happen. It just be a little weird. Like, we live in a weird space, bro. And it's crazy how news cycles, like, spin. Niggas let me talk about that. Will and Jada shit is old now. Old news. Hey, I was listening on Clubhouse, bro. I think it's up. I, I, I think it's up for uh, Trick Daddy and uh, and 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 a, and, a, and a big homie Whack man. Yeah, they they was real beefing, like some on site type shit. Trick was like, "You can't come to Miami no more." It always amuses me when like descendants of slaves think that they can, because they got a, a few M's by their name, think that they are because they got street clout. 
or because they got a bunch of crash dummies around them that'll go shoot some shit up because they're popular or whatever. Well, let's keep it a bean. Think that they nigga, can what's, somebody, what's like, the biggest, mar- what's the bigger market? If a nigga tell you you can't go to L.A., nigga, that's a shutdown. Nigga, you need to stop me from Miami. Well, this is and, all, this is but you can't over. stop me from going oh, nowhere. Nigga, this is your fault. Okay, hold on. Nigga, I just thought about this shit. It's my fault. Hold on. You don't get to talk about this shit, nigga. You a Detroit nigga. <laughs> this Detroit's fault. You know that, right? Well, we do. So, allegedly, Trick Daddy had got out of line with Trick Trick. Mm. I don't know if it had anything to do with the word Trick. I don't know what they was beefing on. But it was out of line. It was like, okay, well, nigga, check it out, homie. You, when you come to Detroit, you know what the words is. Stop. I mean, don't play with Trick Trick. You got to trick in, You got to check in with Trick Trick. So, he thought it was, I guess, a game. He, he come through there, do a show. And I guess they beat the shit out of Trick Daddy, allegedly. Off that stage, whooped his ass. They Detroit, and they did some Detroit shit to him. And allegedly, his career, a glut whack teller, nigga, he never came back outside. He never put nothing out. He stopped touring, and he just relied on Trina. I wouldn't say all that, but I could see the altercation going down the way the altercation went down. Well, the thing is, is allegedly, after said altercation, Trick Daddy has not released any music. And there's not one on tour. And it was a big rah-rah, like, when he got back home. Because, you know, he, like, got yeah. body out there. So it was like when he got back home, it was like, oh, nigga, it's up. It's up for any Detroit artists, all that type of shit. Whoop, whoop. And I guess <laughs> nothing ever came to fruition of that. And so Wack being Wack, the professional antagonist that he is. Oh, 50 Cent love, ass nigga. My nigga, West Coast 50 for sure. Mm-hmm. No disrespect to him. But, like, he... uh. He got in there, nigga, you know, he's just keeping it. He's like, you know, wax shit, whole shit is like, nigga, if it's facts, it ain't disrespectful. So yeah, That's real. And you can't argue with that. So he said that. It was some Miami niggas in the room. They ain't like that, nigga. Florida niggas in the room. They turned up. Next thing you know, Trick get in the room. And and then some of the shit that they didn't know, the niggas, the, the rah-rah niggas, wax start calling out. But what about when your man, nigga, when we was in Miami, nigga, and your man, nigga, said that I had to check in with you, and I told you I don't check in with nobody, nigga. And that nigga pulled up, nigga, to the spot, nigga. Me and Game was standing out there by the Lambo, nigga. That nigga ran up and seen how big me, me and Game was, nigga, and turned around, nigga, and invited us to the club. Bought us drinks, nigga, kicked it all night. Nigga, now I find out a month later, nigga, it was almost bad for us in Miami. Like, that's what it is. It be little shit like that, fam. I'm like, bro. It sounds crazy reca- recapping it. You know what I'm saying? Like, is this really something worth talking about? But given the two parties, given the like the vibe of the no, I, I mean it is something to talk about like, because nigga, niggas got to stop up. doing that after the fact. Oh, niggas could have did niggas lucky I ain't do this. Niggas, fuck that. You should have, would have, could have. You didn't. Right. You didn't. Speaking of nigga. what you should do to a nigga, you see this shit that's viral. Uh, your boy. Let me stop. I know you don't like. I ain't mean it like that. Cause especially when I say the name, you really gonna be like, oh nigga, you got me fucked up. It's your boy six nine, nigga. Not your boy, but you know the boy six nine, and academics. You know who Hassan Campbell is? Mm-mm. Oh nigga, Hassan, nigga, big poppy nigga. He from the Bronx. He, yeah, I'll I'll talk to you a little about that nigga off air. He got a uh, ill story, but um, he's really big in the YouTube space. That nigga down there probably a million up. But um, not to count his pockets, but him mad controversial, like his beef and whatever. Everybody niggas, but he's a nigga certified one, so niggas ain't just running up on the nigga. Like you know what I'm saying? He'll drop your ass, and uh, and whack. I had a little sit down. They like this is like the most polarizing people on the internet. Whack is a master of, of fucking chaos, dog. Like. He just in a chaotic environment, bro. That nigga just knows. I'll be watching this shit. That nigga just knows how to pull that energy, nigga, and make it constructive. Like, you can tell the nigga spent years on a prison yard. Right. Like, his way of, like, because these niggas don't fuck. Like, nigga, Hassan Campbell's went in on Ack, went in on fucking uh, 6 9 of course, nigga, went, on, went in on Wack. Wack got thick skin. That's what I like about the nigga. He got alligator skin, bro. It's like, I know that shit you said about me, nigga. And it did a million views, nigga. Whatever. Mm-hmm. Let's get this money. And let's talk about it. This is why I said what I said. This is why I'm on it. You know what I mean? And so 
It's deep, and I can't believe we got this far in, man. Rest in peace, Case Slay. Yeah. We bugging. Legendary graffiti artist. Mixtape king. Legendary mixtape artist, man. Mixtape king, mixtape DJ. The reason the DJ Khaled's and the dramas even exist, nigga. Yeah. Was off that nigga. So they they definitely was off his, off his. In his They'll tell his you lane. that. Yeah, that was in his lane They'll for sure. They'll tell you that. Like, um, yeah. Yeah, man, rest in peace to him, man. Fuck COVID. You feel me? Um, yeah, man. Did, I don't know if this is true. <laughs> I saw some shit. Let me, <laughs> let me double check, man. They got some What was the name of Case Slay's yeah. magazine? I can't think of the name of it, but I remember, I know that one, like, one of the things I heard is that, uh, when his magazine fell out of print, well, when magazines went out of style, print uh, to order, um, he kept, even though it wasn't beneficial financially, he kept printing a certain percentage of his magazines to this day uh, to service the prisoners. And I just thought that was dope. So uh, definitely going to be Miss Hip Hop Legend. Rest in peace, K Slay. Condolences to his family. So, a transgender prisoner by the name of Demetrius Minor has oh, admitted shit, she got shit. two women pregnant in a New Jersey prison. <laughs> the fuck is going on? Hey, see, this is the thing, fam. I mean, hold on. The nigga done found out the cheat code. That's what I was about to say. <laughs> nigga, that's what I'm talking. That's what talk. See, man. Hey, look, bro. This is what I'll be saying. But niggas, but when you have these conversations, fam, you you get attacked, well, right? Attack us on this one. But I'm saying like, nigga, if that's, that's why not I said the most you can't, you shouldn't, shit, you bro. shouldn't be able. And look, I am not a member of this community, not at all. So I I, I will speak carefully and, uh, and say this understanding that I'm speaking as an outsider of the community. I mean no offense, but I'm just like, bro, like where's it's like the swimmer. Like the body, I'm not being perver- the MMA fighter. I'm not being per, 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 perversive. I don't really truly care about your genitalia. But now, but bro, if you're gonna be competing against my daughter and you're gonna be kicking her and slamming her and fighting punching with her, her nigga. or rebounding against her, nigga, uh, anything like that, I want. If you got nuts, nigga, she she'll sit this game out. Yep, she says this fight. Good now. luck. You deserve everything you get, but <laughs> my baby is gonna sit this one out because I'm a grown ass man by birth. I will and if I see you elbow my damn you. daughter, and I know that that's you it. got a dick and so balls. Dick, and or, balls. or if it's and that's the thing, it, it is an elementary conversation because this is a new part of society. This is something that's that's upon everyone, and we have to like evolve and all deal with with changes. That's fine. I'm cool with that. I'm a black man in America. Right, I, I I champion that, but because of this, and and I'm just gonna just be honest, you know, correct me in, in the comments if I'm ignorant, educate me, fam. I know that I, that's what I'm gonna think first. Like, hold on, man. Like, how much of a girl is he? Because he's still six five, nigga, and two twenty five. Nigga might get with me in the fight. No, fuck the fight. <laughs> I don't care about that. You're not getting with me. <laughs> Not after you just elbowed my daughter's teeth out of her mouth because she got the rebound. Yeah. And I'm supposed to treat you like you just yeah. a teenager. You know what I mean? That's just not fair. Right. And so it's not about like not being inclusive. I say let's create a lane. The simple thing to do with a group of young boys by natural birth that identify and are in the process of transitioning into a female's body and a lifestyle is to create a league for Just transitioners. For them, right. Because what happens is, is then you take all that out of it. You take all of that out of it. <laughs> so you have this young lady that wants to play uh, like our football or do whatever it is. Because I, I mean, personally, I'm on the fringe of this. I'm not a football player naturally. I, I grew up playing as a kid. So I don't really know what it's like to get hit by a grown man in pads. I've always felt like there is some women out there that could play professional football. 
I just really believe that. I know people think I'm crazy. No, there is. There I just is. there's I really believe that. So I'm not one that say to say that women shouldn't be able to play football. I don't understand what's took in America so long to develop a women's football league if they're if they're using physicality as a reason to exclude women for football. Right? But hold on. Here's my thing. Back to the original. How do you handle that? That's what I'm getting to. Like I, that's what I'm trying to speak to. You handle that by stop being sexist. No, not and, that, and, not that. How do create... you handle this situation in this prison, nigga? You make a bed like my my mama and granny and them used to say. <laughs> what do you do? You lay. You lay in that motherfucker. <laughs> now you got this man that identifies obviously sometimes as a woman, as a woman, or maybe all the time. Maybe he was being a lesbian when he slept with those girls. But by his natural anatomy, like he, they created a childbirth. Now you got two bitches pregnant in jail. <laughs> now you're going to have baby mama drama in jail. Bro. Right? Now what, is the kids in the, They got to do some of the sentence? Nigga, what, now they get out, they in social services or some bullshit. No, nah, yeah, the kids got to go straight to foster some, care Some and prisons shit. let them keep them, though. They have facilities in there. Uh, so that's what I'm saying. I don't know. So How is, fucked up of a life is that, nigga? Probably better than foster care. No, I mean, I'm just saying, that. in the beginning of your life, nigga, you know where jail is already? It's Tupac. <laughs> right. Tupac. I Tupac. A, I'm in a lab, bro. Tupac was born yeah. in a prison. There's a lot of young men that's born in prisons, and it's fucked up. I feel like it's got to be some kind of, like, negative. Like, it's man, it, definitely, if, nigga. if it's bad luck to have certain people around and do all this type of shit, you know how niggas get when there's childbirth and shit, just family and inner circle around, all that shit for the first couple months. You got all these motherfucking- You in a pen? Yeah. Killers and all types of motherfuckers. You got a lot of bad shit. karma around you. Fam. Nothing but bad energy, nigga. And even the niggas that's in there that ain't supposed to be in there, the karma's fucked up around mm-hmm. them. Yeah, it's all type of nigga energy just swirling through a newborn baby's life, nigga, and just- Space. This real shit, man. We we. You said something. Uh, well, we we just, we had a little conversation off here. I'm gonna bring it to the mic, man, because I've said this before in class in school. I've said this in conversations, and most people have kind of like very much so dismissed me, and it brings me to a conversation I had with one of my sisters. And it was light, but it stuck with me because she was kind of almost annoyed at my comparison of something that I'm going to get to later. Um, She didn't see the correlation at all and kind of thought it was erroneous that I was even making that jump. So you said, fam, America's a third world country. Mm -hmm. America is... America to me is just I don't mean this by any like I don't mean any malice in this but America's like a high functioning autistic when it comes to like a lot of other countries and we look great from a distance and we are great for immigrants and refugees but we're not great for the people who built this country and who are not immigrants of this country and I mean that's fact. the FBAs I mean the Native Americans I mean right. the people who inhabited this land before the Europeans brought the slaves from Africa over here and and took over what they took over here colonized and, and did now, what they did the reason that I said that is one of the big things is health care when it comes to healthcare, we are a third world country. And I don't mean we're a third world country by the technology. We're a third world country by the way that we're treated as citizens of this country. We pay so much money to do simple shit like have a child. Thirty to sixty thousand dollars for us to have a child. In most countries and the countries who have are the top top um what would you say the top currencies people who are funded in pounds and euros and yen and all that shit right. Canadian dollars and shit like that have pretty much free health care matter of fact it is free health care 
They pay right. nothing to have children. They pay, education too. they pay nothing to go get COVID tested. Nothing to go spend months in, if they got to spend weeks, months for COVID in fucking hospitals. They don't get charged for fucking... Broken legs. Um, Yeah, broken bones, simple colds, simple flus. It's not... If I got to take a fucking hospital ride because or an ambulance ride right now because something happens, or it's should not I try gonna, to tough it out because I can't afford it? Right, it's forty five hundred dollars for that shit. So that's third world country shit. We might as well not even have health care. Unhealthy drinking water. We can't water. even afford health care. We have places like Flint, Michigan. Oh, piss poor infrastructure. That had terrible infrastructure that rusted out pipes. People were drinking this water and, and fucked up fucking their kids up and being like, come on. Well, Flint was done purposely and that was proven. And um, so. it ain't even just Flint. We but have, just the country. Like in right, Nevada, nigga yeah. shit. Vegas right here. Like drink some tap water, nigga. Like, yeah, um, it's just. The roads and highways. Look how hard the fight is for these Democrats to get the infrastructure bill passed. And look how many billions of, and millions of dollars are slashed from it before the Republicans will okay it. These, I'm, I'm not waving a flag for either party, but these, these, these are things that help American citizens. Mm -hmm. They create jobs. They, they, they uh, sustain jobs. All these union workers and stuff like that that are spotty and work, wait, looking for work, that puts you there for a couple of years. We're just going to rebuild the country. Um, especially when we when we deal in, in, in aiding and in infrastructure elsewhere. Mm -hmm. And we know why we do it, man. We do it so that the very elite that benefit from Americanism can benefit from whatever that other country has. Look at, you know look, at look at pregnancy and postpartum in America. Horrible. Every other country will give a woman six to nine months, eighty five percent of her salary, and their spouse, and give their spouse six months, eighty five percent of his eighty five percent of his salary. Man, it's mandatory. It doesn't matter what company you work at. That is in. That's pretty much like a from McDonald's to to, to, to NASA. So look, we're so sick as a nation. You gotta hope your your you your wife has like to that? hope when she's pregnant. You gotta hold on. I'll let you talk real quick. You gotta hope. What is it? Probably like twenty percent of companies that give you any type of paternity leave paid for. I mean, most people would give you the time off, but you ain't getting paid unless you got PTO. Even, I mean, shit. And and who what, the fuck got six? What weeks? is maternity leave like? Six weeks. Okay, so yeah, six fucking weeks, and then you got to figure out what to do with your child after that when you go back to work. Not to mention, what about the bonding period for the father? Right. None. Because um, the, the father. Because you got to go to work. You yep. don't get maternity leave, nigga. You ain't pregnant. Nope. That's how we look at it. Damn, I forgot the point I was about to make. But, um. Oh, yeah, my bad. No, that's good. Um. Damn, yeah, you got it. it it's, it's, it's overall, it's fucked up. But what I will say, um, I said, I brought that up to advance the conversation because it reminded me of a conversation I had with my sister. And I said, it's this black dude that's now getting fame from Detroit again. Um, from Detroit, black man, from the D. The nigga is flying. He's getting rid of all of his things and selling off his shit. And is flying to Ukraine to help liberate the Ukrainians. And I thought to myself, like, hmm, I'm a kid that read the Willie Lynch letters. I'm a kid that understood that, like, and was taught early that although we're not no longer in physical bondage, there's a mental and spiritual thing that's attached to that. Mental slavery, like, and it takes slave and it takes a while to emancipate a few generations, right? Um, a lot of others, a lot of people that's not in our culture in our communities, they don't want to hear that or try to understand that because it's somewhat reflective of their prosperity right mm -hmm. um i understand that that's fair whatever but i said that out loud i'm like what kind of nigga is it like man what kind of fucking what an idiot i said you left detroit michigan to go all the way to ukraine where you didn't know if you were going to be shot down or welcomed 
Well, they've already shown that they don't want black people there. Right, where they're doing what they do to black people in Ukraine as we speak, even during a war. Mm -hmm. That's all information out there, fam. And you take your black ass to Ukraine. Well, you should see him. Now he's in Ukraine because at first he made news for just saying that he wanted to go and he was talking to the media. This is what I want to do. People thought he was kind of a clown. Now this nigga's in there in full military brigade, nigga, out there helping them niggas spot bombs and shit. He's like, listen, it's going in 12-second interviews intervals and he got them listening to shit and they listening to him he's really over there helping them he has military experience from america and all that type of shit but i thought to myself and this has always been my gripe with the with military men and women and i come from a military family me too i said and maybe these conversations is why my grandfather and father both made me promise not to join the military but i said as a child said it as a teenager and I'll say it as a grown ass man. What good is a military that takes an oath to defend and protect liberty and democracy? I've never seen any military men say, you know what? Black Americans need to be liberated. Mm -hmm. You know what? This group of people in our society isn't treated fair. And if I'm going to go over there and get shot, bombed, killed, maimed for their so-called liberation, why don't I use that same skill set and do something here and do something here? And so I'd be always looking at that like, huh, they make it to where you're wrong if you come out and be like, you know, like the military is really like America's goons. We pay you in, in the way in the way we pay you, and no questions asked. To the goon shit when we too. tell you to go knock this off, go knock it off. Yeah, it's like a, it's like mob mentality because nigga, you got the real hitmen, and that's the motherfucking six man team that goes though. take niggas out. We were taught by our generation that the American people that greeted Vietnam vets, which my father was a Vietnam vet, right? Mm-hmm. Um. With disdain, we were taught that the people was wrong. Yeah. And if we think back, those people were saying, nigga, you don't get a license to go kill people Mm -hmm. just because you got America written on your chest and the rich elite people of America are telling you to do so. Because I remember doing the Iraqi war, they had did a study and they had showed all the elected officials from state level to federal how many actually had Family members and loved ones in the military in harm's way serving in the war that they kept fighting for. None of them did. It was like less than 2%. Right. It was literally Joe Biden and like maybe two other people. And we just got to start asking ourselves real questions. Because, you know, people don't. Americans are trained to not really count dollars when we're thinking about our, our government. Like so when he was all we gave him fourteen trillion a day, and then he just cleared another eight hundred million, right? But a motherfucker would tell you that nigga the forty acres and the mules our ancestors settled on, nigga, after building the country. It's too much. Uh, we don't have that money right now. We got right. we got to figure it out. But, okay, yeah. let's take it off black people. Hey man, the country is falling apart. There's roads that are literally in danger of collapsing. And Clear the money. A lot of death. Not if only can we build the nation to be better, we can employ millions of people. You know all those people that get seasonal work for holding a sign? It's a good job, but it's not enough job mm-hmm. for you to work that year round. But if we got an infrastructure bill that was worthy, you can put a construction crew to work for three years. You could put a, you know what I'm saying? You, you can do, truckers are getting more work. Do you know- all these type of things. And so with, with all that being said, mm-hmm. it's like, bro, we always got money for others. America is great for immigrants. Mm-hmm. America is great. America is great for everybody else but Americans. But Americans. And like, so what happens is it gets into this thing where once an immigrant comes over here and they come over here and they become legalized, they're American, right? Yeah, but there's a difference. If you're a white kid that can trace your ancestors to this country to the 1800s, it ain't no programs really for you. 
the crazy thing about it ain't no it, it ain't no like home ownership shits for you and nothing like that. To be honest, if you're a black kid, same thing. It ain't really nothing like that for you. Mm. The trick is that oh, you live in America and we don't systemically enslave or dimish, uh, discriminate on you people anymore. So pull yourself up by your bootstraps. The crazy thing is, is how count, how counterproductive America is to itself. The government is so counterproductive to itself for the simple fact of. Nigga, you want to be this great, big, powerful, almighty nation, right? right. Nigga, if you made everybody in America a hundred thousand or a millionaire. No, that wouldn't work. I'm going to tell you why. The reason why that wouldn't work is because the goal is, is workforce. See, like what they figured out after slavery is we can make them all slaves. No, 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 hold on, hold on. I'm saying to the fact, like, you could still make them slaves, but if you paid everybody a livable wage, you paid everybody oh, what they were worth. Oh, you saying livable wages. No, yeah. that's different. Okay, I get L- what you're if saying. You, if you paid everybody a livable wage, you gave every black person what they're owed and what they're due, what do you think that would do for your country as a whole, just well, period. So That's you're thinking, people paying more, but people pay more. Hold on, let's say this. People then pay more taxes. No, you're thinking intelligently. No, exactly. You're thinking exactly. forward. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You're thinking inclusive. You're thinking justifiable, right? Right, nigga. Um, so what happens is, is, bro, if I got to. Hold on, wait, wait, before you say that. Think about how much it stimulated the country on them stimulus packages. But that's just it, though. Stipends. If you did all, you say this all no, no, the time. No, but if you just, give no, no, us that's stipends, just keep, you do all this. Nigga, listen to me, bro. This, this is the game. If I got 100,000 mm-hmm. people that literally didn't know where their next meal was coming from, they don't have all the ancillary things that America shows you to make it seem like life is great here. The house, the so, like the clothes on we're the back. we're the richest poorest pe- poor people on for earth. sure. So like we got for cars, sure. right? We got cars and multiple shoes. The richest slaves, different on clothes earth. and stuff and like that, right? Poor so so you you see all those things and it's like oh America, right? That's better than having to walk six miles to get your water, right? Um, I didn't realize how free, right? They are. It's all in one's perspective <laughs> because. In some of those countries, those East Asian countries, those mm-hmm. Eastern European countries, those mm-hmm. African countries, you're not at a risk for being murdered as much yeah. for looking like yourself right. to walk to get that water. Right. Or there's no barrier that says because you look like you, you can't, you live, can't get this you water. You can't get this job. You can't do You know what I'm saying? This, yeah. Now, there is racism and, and, and um colonialism oh, over sure. over for in sure. certain places like that so i understand sure. in africa for but sure. the thing i will always say about my fba brothers and sisters is we are different in the fact that we're not above being enslaved we've been enslaved but we have to be some of the most rebellious ex-slaves on earth and a lot of things that america put in place were put in place to manipulate the freedoms of the said slave, the freedman, right? The aboriginal people of America. They call it genocide with a pen because if I can make all of you kids, see when they integrated schools, they took our parents and grandparents out of the equation of educating us. That's when they start, they waited until our, our parents got older. That's why if you're my age and you have a mother and that's my, my mom is 70. And I just reminded her not too long. I was like, hey, mom, I bet by the time you had never been called an African-American or heard yourself referred to as an African-American or read that you were an African-American until you were grown and had children because that term was created in 88. And I was born your youngest child in 83. The paper genocide and the propaganda and the wordplay says that I don't like the song WAP, but I know all the lyrics. If you start writing, oh, African-American studies, African-American histories, we're doing this for African-American week. We're doing this for Black History Month. We're doing African-American, African-American. Motherfuckers just start getting comfortable. Like, yeah, I'm African-American, man. Word to Africa. Right, right. But all of us, 
black people, nigga, know that we have grandparents and great grandparents that will tell you, nigga, that you're not from Africa. Now, what? Which one? Because I, I, I owe a great apology to my ancestors when I die. Mm-hmm. I remember thinking my grandfather was on some fugazi shit. We African. What you mean? We from Africa. Like I don't like my grandfather. Don't know where the fuck he from. Right. Like his grandfather don't know where the fuck he from. Mm-hmm. You go back and read literature before a certain date. They never refer to black people as African American, but at black people in America are the only race of people that I know of that the country that they live in has reclassified their name and their nationality more than five times. They started off calling us Indians. I got a crazy question for you. And it's funny, but it's serious. Do you think somebody like me would get reparations? And the yeah. reason I hold on, yes. The reason I say this because you know who my great 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 grandfather is on my mom's side, right? Don't matter, but no, but tell me. Well, I don't respectfully. I didn't mean it like oh nigga, uh, don't matter. But I mean like it, 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 that has nothing to do. This is with docu- your reparations. This is though. documented. Robert E. Lee. Oh nigga, it's crazy. I gotta fuck you up for my peoples, <laughs> and nigga, you gotta let me do it. You out of your fucking for your life. peoples, nigga. Fuck look, look, look like. <laughs> And you, nah, but and you gotta let me do it for your my, peoples, nigga. My mom's mom, and I'm pretty sure I'm related to Adolph Rupp. Probably. My mom's mom's maiden name is Rupp. Guess where she's from? Damn. Kentucky. I was just about to say that, nigga. From the bluegrass state. I've never done the research, and I never asked my grand. I never asked my grandmother. I never asked my grandmother. But hey, I'm pretty so sure this, with that last name in okay, Kentucky, so, but let me has, ask you a question. For Robert E. Lee is my however yeah, right. generations I mean, I ago is so my So let grandma. me let me um <laughs> it's crazy. Yeah, it is. That's nuts. Let me uh explain that. Because even with the FBA shit, mm-hmm. with the newer reparations claims and shit. That's how I really think I'm FBA. You gotta understand. Nigga, no, like, you got wait, you gotta understand one drop rule. Right. One drop rule says that a biracial kid that grows into a biracial man that marries a white woman and has a child, that baby's a nigger. And if we catch it, we're gonna skin it, we're gonna kill it, just like the rest of those niggers, right? Then comes in the Jim Crow-ish civil rights type era where certain privileges are always being given to the lighter skin race. Mm-hmm. That's when you have people that are passing. You have people that could pass if they do their hair a certain way, if they speak with a certain dialect, mm-hmm. dress a certain way, and enter the building from a certain, drive in from a different part. They can pass as a Caucasian male, yeah, or definitely. maybe a Jewish person, I or maybe something ain't. like that. Right? <laughs> like, no, never, yeah. right, right. But, <laughs> But what happens is, is like, so that becomes a different level of infliction, right? Mm-hmm. Now, these are all the same people. There's stories where there's mothers, there's husbands, there's children that are going out getting good paying jobs, passing as white people and coming home to their black families. Right. There's a certain psychological thing that comes. Now we get into the dark skin versus light skin. Mm-hmm. See, we live in a generation now where we, we it's all jokes. Right. But I grew up in a generation where, nigga, it was tough for light-skinned kids in my neighborhood. Nigga. I grew up in a generation where it was tough being dark-skinned, though. Nigga. Like, so it was the dark-skinned jokes. Damned if you do, It was the light-skinned jokes. Yeah. And then you, what you realize is we it's all black, damn black nigga. people. Yeah, right? we all black, nigga. So we grew past that. I'm talking about these different afflictions that they put on our culture, that they assist in, Right. That other people, if you're not in this culture, you can't see it, right? That's why the FBA shit is so powerful. Because we as an FBI, uh, FBA tribe, like, we know FBA people. Mm-hmm. But we never really had a way that we've decided to distinguish them. And everyone has been able to basically acquiesce our space for what's beneficial to them. I love my, my, my people from the diaspora, but when black American students, descendants of slaves here, 
are not being accepted in the colleges, not because they're not qualified, but because they don't have space, because the government is giving this school extra funding for having international students, and they can get two out of one by having a black international student, a little black boy from Compton, third generation uh, from slavery, you know, you'll be all right. Mm -hmm. I told somebody, I was like, my people ain't been free 60 years. They tried to educate me like, what? 60 years, so you're telling me 1868, that was only 60 years ago? I said, but you obviously don't know FBA struggle and culture. I said, because if you're not talking about after construction, the reconstruction era where they stole all black wealth and land in this country. Or blew it up. Right? If you're not talking about the civil rights era and things like that where black scholaristic minds couldn't go to college, right? If if you want to talk about the hundred so years of black creation in this country where black men and women couldn't own patents, so they might make a deal and let the white man that they know or work with put it in his name. Yeah. Okay, well, maybe he's giving you the back end that he was supposed to, but when he dies, his family ain't. Nope. It's in his name. His family right? ain't giving your family. That's shit. where the whole Jim Beam story comes, and there's a hundred million stories like that, right? There's thousands of stories of these things. And so we know that, but each generation pass because we haven't assumed control of it mm -hmm. until now. Our counterparts, the kids we, we send our, the people we send our kids to school with, the teachers that educate our kids, um, the people that are gonna be like looking to employ them, they don't know these stories. They don't know this true history, <coughs> right? Right. Um, and so, uh, to me, it, it becomes, like, volcanic in the fact that, like, I remember going to school and just, it would be sometimes, bro, like, I've gotten in trouble or been marked for ditching class, really because, nigga, I can just see the white supremacy in the, in the, in, in the textbook. And yeah. I can see what my teachers literally teaching white supremacist lies and then being offended that I'm correcting her. As the only black face in her class. Hey, yo, I got to go before I curse you out. Because if I say something, I'm going to be out of line and out of pocket. But you in here. And there's no space for that. There's no space. What I mean by, like, the integration part is not that, like, black kids shouldn't go to school with non-black or with other non-black kids. Black people fought for integration to have equal access to government-funded schools. Mm-hmm. It's not that white communities were building nice schools and funding it and educating their kids. The government was. But they weren't doing that for black schools. Black schools were privately owned, community owned. Mm -hmm. So the resources aren't there, right? We might have one telescope in the whole damn school. Figuring out how we gonna feed all these kids every day. We bringing that from food from our house. Right. We, we start in school farms and shit so we can have food to, right? These things. Now, when you go to the integration, they didn't hire black teachers. Nope. They're not letting these black teachers teach white kids. The They're white kid. Able to be the a white teacher kid, back then? The white kid might have, so, yeah, for black, for Negro schools. Mm. But that's what I be telling people that we don't think, talk about. Once integration happened, once we fought for integration, okay, Malcolm was against it. Right. Martin was for it. We fought for it. We won. We got that. And then what happened? We got Black History Month. We got Black History Month, but blacks' education fell. Yep. If you look at some of the greatest educational, like most educated minds that are that FBA culture has produced, like I said, technically I only they have come, an eighth grade mind. They grade yield. They yield from what? They yield from that segregated background. When you start looking at man, you talk to somebody in their fifties and, and up, they all had like black teachers and black principals and they all could tell you a story about that one coach that yeah you you're not the star player on this team but you good at this and i got a buddy that does this and he gonna take you over here and put you under his wing when you don't have that camaraderie in the education so when the education system doesn't look at the the kid the, the people that they're educating as family or as a part of their community yeah i'll just prepare you to get a job nigga my mom and my dad graduated and I don't feel like, not to say that they're not intelligent people, I don't feel like they have any more knowledge than I do. No, because you live in a more info informative era. Right. So, And you have more readily access to information. 
at, we really live in a space where, like, dog, there's somebody out there that has the skill set and the attentiveness that where they could do perform probably an open heart surgery, right? With the right tools around and the right people after watching. Shit, I think uh, after I, watching YouTube video, a uh, YouTube video I'm on the four thousand hours. So what I'm speaking like, to is I'm speaking to the self, the self taught person, mm -hmm. a self, the self starter, the person that's self taught. It's hard sometimes to have a certain type of teacher. Because if you have a teacher that's like, do it my way, this is how we that's do how, it. Yeah, boom, that's why I never could fuck your, school. Everything like in, your, in your soul and energy is going to be like, well, I figured out another way. And, you, and why is this wrong? Because it's not your what, way. What turned me off from math early is when I would come up, when I would come up with an answer and they'd be like, well, how do you do that? Like, that doesn't show your work. No. And I'm like, well, no, nigga, the answer's right. Yeah, I don't need to show you how I got there. Like, you see there. the scrap sheet with all these fucking zeros crossed down, and whoop, 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 nigga, this is my work. Because common core math, nigga, is now like 2 plus 2 equals 4, but now break it down. Like, they figure out how you got to do it in, like, a division-type way, and it's ridiculous. Common core is why they got rid of it. It's because it was stupid as fuck. Well, and it's too late to do a culture shift. You should have been teaching world math mm -hmm. in the beginning. Because when I be watching them videos of like fucking Indian Asian people do math Asian, way different. It's like an Asian girl, an Indian girl. It'd be like, it'd be girls from like, they, it's a, you know, it's all Asia, mm -hmm. but it'd be like an Indonesian girl, right. a Taiwanese girl, and a Japanese girl. And they'll give, and they, the way they, nigga, that shit. It'd be two plus two equals four, but in nigga, no, fam. When the they be doing it, be this long what they, they do done. with them, they give them the crazy ass, like, how much is 1.5 million divided by 2,800? Well, no, like, what I'm talking about is I've seen my daughter, Jada. I've yeah. seen her schoolwork, nigga, when she was in, like, third yeah, I, grade. Yeah, I know. Listen to what I'm saying. They introduced it here. Nigga, two they plus brought that two type of shit here. Two equals but, four, nigga. Yeah. I saw her have to break it down and turn it to an equation this long. No, I remember we was helping like, Jasmine. Nigga, we sent the Jasmine, fuck is this? We sent Jasmine to school with her homework, and she tripping like, she said it was wrong. We like, nigga, no, it wasn't. It's not. Two fuck you talking about? Fuck like, no, but she doing like beginning multiplication and Three division and shit. Little shit. Like, so we like, what, what, what the five fuck times two is ten. First off, nigga, I ain't in school no more. So if I did get stumped, I used my calculator. Like, nigga, we ain't wrong over here. Shit is all accurate. But what it was, it was like, okay, show your work. Oh, okay. So we showed her. This is how we show your work. No, that ain't it. Okay, yeah, her teacher fucking with her. What do you mean? Her mom goes meet with the teacher. They doing a whole nother type of math. common core math, yep. And so, like the because they're is, trying to get the uh, the remain, they're trying to take away the uh, remainder of one math. So this is the thing, bro. The carry well, the one, I mean. They, they want, want it. To take away carry they want. One. They want one of everything, bro. That's what they really want. All the Eastern countries that fight America and the Western countries for their own independence and their own way of life and their own cultural aspects and shit like that. Their only enemies. Because it's like, yo, nigga, just get on this board, nigga. Just get down or lay down. Yeah. That's what it is. Just get down or lay down. All y'all motherfuckers going to be a democracy. And all y'all motherfuckers going to be new age slaves. Y'all all, all going to be working for pennies on a dollar. On the idea. But we in Las Vegas, nigga. You know how many motherfuckers fly out here thinking that they're really going to get rich? Even to this day still. There's motherfuckers coming out here. They they got their shit right, nigga. They poker tournament. They ain't saved. They ain't stacked up. I'm about to come out here and change my life. You know what I'm saying? Like it was built on common core math. There you go. Backwards as fuck. There you go, bro. Like, <laughs> so so when you start talking about cultural things, yeah. you can't come in and do some shit. How the fuck the babies gonna get help from their parents? How you gonna introduce a math form yeah, I help that their nothing, parents and that's bro. what it does? Like, you almost think they do it on purpose. It's almost like a sinister thing, right? Right. If you can't afford the tutor, your kids is gonna maybe your kids should get a job. Dog, before Trump got out of office, he was already speaking like that. Like, well, you know, maybe some kids, you know, like maybe they shouldn't go to school. Maybe they should just, you know, they Get should just work right out the and help their families. Because, you know, you got to understand, even poor white kids couldn't go to school in this country at one point in time. It was a thing for the elite. Mm -hmm. Education Wasn't makes you unfit to be a slave. The more educate, the more you educate yourself. I'm not talking about earning a degree. That's a that's a certificate a certificate of completion, of sorts. I talked to a self self made millionaire man, and he said, "Akeem, most people two things. Most people don't set out and try to become millionaires. They wish it, 
And he said, the only reason why millionaires like myself prefer a person with a college degree is because they've proven that they can can complete a long-term goal. And I thought that was kind of corny when I, when I first heard it because I'm younger and I'm like, hey, what? That's stupid. But then I think about the most people that drop out. A lot of people don't drop out and it's always presumed because it's money, but you was broke when you was in college, you broke when you are out of college. It ain't necessarily because of that. Yep. Some people drop out because they they get a different vision. They feel like they're wasting their time. It's like, oh, and this they, ain't it for me. Nigga, right? when I went to college for music production, I finally came to the conclusion, like, I'm not paying they taught $60,000 you, Yeah, for them to teach you everything that you learned well, in your mom's you basement. you your fucking mind, like, I'm going to go in super debt. And, and this is what cultural vulturism is, nigga. We created this. Yeah. So now you motherfuckers have made terms for shit and format. And now, nigga, because y'all set the rule book, I have to learn it your way to be thing is though the thing is though i'm not getting a not job you. No, 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 no. i'm, I'm saying anybody i'm saying in general anybody with a degree isn't going to get a job over me in an engineering space all i got to do is show my work i get what you're saying it's that, i'm not that's talking that's like about the, you individually no no i'm talking about I'm anybody just talking in about, the game i'm talking about anybody no, 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 in the I game i know but you, but you you you're making it like you're bringing it to you like in terms of you're not going to have to show, i get well that. not to me not to me let me say me anybody who is like me, who is self-taught, right? And has been just doing it, right? right? A nigga who gets out of full sale where I went to school with that music, pro- they can have a well, master's in this No, I know. Shit. Well, I know a nigga that's that, winning out of there. Right? Yeah, I know a nigga that's but out of there winning. I get it, but that's not, that paper isn't going to get you any more studio. No, run, I, know I know, I'm but what I'm saying is this. What they've done, and this is it, pay attention to this. Harlem was popping mm-hmm. because if you wanted to get down like the Negroes and learn what the Negroes was doing That's or buy a dress like the Negroes, yeah. you had to go to Harlem. Yep. So that empowered who and what community? The black community. If I take Until that shit away from the culture yep. to where you don't have to go learn that from them anymore, yeah. even though they created this. Just mixing and all this shit. It's because we were too but, inclusive and didn't fucking patent all and this shit. And as free it. slaves, we're not, we're becoming that. But at that time, we, didn't we wasn't good at monetizing our culture. Yeah. And even today, we're black not. Americans we're have a hard time monetizing identifying and monetizing their culture. You're absolutely right? right? So you got motherfucking towns in small cities in Japan that literally mimic our culture to the point where the Bantu knots, dreadlocks, braids. They're even doing the small curlers. I know that. To fucking look like waves and, and, and then they're wearing, and they, they're wearing curling eye. Uh, they're wearing the, the rollers. Jesus. Like people used Christ. to ridicule black women for this and call us ghetto and, and all this type of shit. And say we didn't have class. They still do with the bonnets now. I know, like, but nigga. that's what I'm saying. But like, but you see this in Asia, right? And you're like, damn, that's uh, that's kind of weird, but it's it's cool, right? That's kind of dope. Like, but it's we like we get paid for this. But we live in a space where other people can mimic and emulate our culture and not pay the ram. It's not criminalized. It's not harsh. It's not. They don't have to pay no ramifications for it. Like, you know what I'm saying? I still ain't heard nobody complain about white boys sagging. I know y'all be seeing other young boys. Like, white boys be sagging, too. Hard. I got oh. some white homies that be sagging. I be laughing. I be like, bro, that's crazy. Because anytime time they show an image or a meme of the sagging culture, it's always a nigga that look like me. And I've never sagged. Who wears more George than black people, Asians? Well, yeah. But who was ridiculed? For Jordans. Who, who when they figured out, oh, a kid in Southside Chicago got killed for these Jordans, released less pair. Make it worse. You know, at least like the Asian community, like, nigga, they, they, Jordans are made in Asia. Right? Yeah, they don't have that issue. It's completely different over here. Like, it's just a different vibe, bro. Like, that's why America's a third world country. And so in disguise. And so when you when you start thinking about that and then you go read the thirteenth amendment 
and you understand that the 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 deal that they made when it, with with freeing slaves is that okay now all of you all are are pretty much slaves especially if we deem that you broke one of the rules that's why the culture is so criminalized all the time america i got you know a new saying? slogan for america ain't the land of the free and home of the brave it's the hand, land of the free and the home of the slave nigga cuz you literally it don't matter if if you're not part of the one percent, you're a slave. I'll argue that even some members of the one percent are slaves. Yep. I'm talking about the, the dollar though. Like you're slave to the point where like you're you slave for somebody else's dream. Well, that's what's so crazy about this shit is it's been so advanced. Take Steve Ballmer. Never owned a business. Never started a business. Never. You know, he went to Ivy League school, was brilliant, got a job at Microsoft, worked there for 20 some, 30 some years, right? Millionaire. Is billionaire. Oh, yeah. He's worth like 40 something billion dollars. Yeah, because you got it on the ground floor of the stock. He had a job. Yeah. He was high up in Microsoft, he had a good job. He had a good job and became a billionaire. That's You're right, he's a slave. He was a slave. That's, yeah, he's the slave I'm talking about. That's, you're right. You're so, absolutely so, right. When I say that, rich slaves, yeah, because I don't want to yep. equate it to what our people went yep. through because it's slaves. different. Because so what oh, happened? Yeah, you're right. So I what, need to clear that up. So you're what right. happens yeah, now? We're, though. we're all rich. We're the so richest what ha- slaves. So what happens now, fam? As America, hear what I'm saying. Richest. Poor, you're richest powerful slaves. as fuck, and you don't even know it. Yeah. You're powerful as fuck in a certain confine that you've been manipulated into thinking that you operate. When with the money that you have, you can go do something out of the box and revolutionary. Mm-hmm. But you don't get to that status in this system being a worker, being without a that being something. pulled out of you, too. Yeah. And when you see certain free-spirited artists ascend in massive wealth, and now the vultures and, the, and those people are around and inviting them and getting to know them, and that's when they start going, a lot of them start going crazy. That's when a lot of them start tri- 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 whip- wilding out a little bit. Mm-hmm. They be a little off. All of them need to be on meds. And it's like, what are you being exposed to? What kind of information are you being? Are you overhearing and being exposed to? What bubble was popped to where you realized, like, yo, this blue pill shit is crazy? Right. Like, you know what I'm saying? And when you hear other celebrities and other people that have had, like, interactions with that world say, you know, like, during the course of my career – you know, you can call it the Illuminati. You can call it whatever. There were certain opportunities presented for me. Yeah. Um, I didn't chose to go that route. And yeah, I'm here, but I never was cast in one of those type movies again. Right. I never was nominated for that type of award again. Look at how quick they try to punish you with things. They know we're the descendants of slaves. Yeah. Black people today don't even realize what black people was living like 60 years ago. Not at all. So with that being said, how they manipulated us into this so-called freedom and air, because you'll talk to a young motherfucker that they'll argue with you if racism exists. There's a, the reason why the uproar of the George uh, Floyd killing was so massive and, 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 and caught him off guard is there's a whole generation of kids that didn't know this. Yeah. Black, white, and Latina did not know. Like, wait, that's foul. Like, wait, they just did them like that? I like that they denied the uh, Texas... Uh cop i love that what do you mean denied her last appeal what texas cop the the one that walked into that uh dude's house while he's eating ice cream shot him on his couch oh yeah the amber geiger denied her shit so nah you didn't get what you shot you should have got but bitch you sitting here hey bro i'll tell you what i've seen a lot of fba people going in on that man's family because it was like you know, his family dis- disgraced him. Like, Oh, his brother right? disgraced the fuck out mother of him, Mother and nigga. family. Like, his mother, all them people that was there. Now, ass, I'm not going to say that because they lost their brother and son. I'm not forgiving her, though. Right? I'm not hugging her. But, that, but, but you let that sentence, the news, you let that sentence that. with you. And I'm not, right? Like, I get it. Because that's what I was, that's the point I'm trying to make. I just, I don't, I get let, some people are just very good. Let me land my plane. Forget, I just, how? Let me land my plane. The point that I'm landing is FBA experience with white supremacy is different than 
a, a Nigerian's experience with white supremacy oh, or okay. a Kenyan's experience with did, like other countries, the Congo. Of, yeah. Shout out to our brothers and sisters in the Congo that, that show love too. Um, Nigeria as well. This is not a separative like conversation. We've all been wronged, wronged right, right. right? And that we all have a kinship as well. Shit, if you got what, brown skin, you, you what, felt racism right. somewhere. And so period. what I'm saying is that like, when you have those different fractions of very traumatic things for generations, right? The, the, the hate is taught now to the hated. Um, but theirs is different because you get to keep your language. You get to keep your tribal identification a lot of times, not all the times, right? You're on your homeland. You can say as a Nigerian, my ancestors a thousand years ago walked this land yeah. and spoke this language. They took that from us. Yeah. Right? Yeah, we don't know what our I'm not splitting is. hairs to be like, oh, they did us worse. It's not that kind of conversation. What I'm saying is you're going to have more forgiveness overcoming in that situation. colonialism and overthrowing colonialism mm -hmm. are evolving in colonialism. Like we're saying today, we're still slaves. We just evolved into a different type of slavery. Well, you're still colonial, colonized. Well, you're just, it's just evolved. And sometimes. Our brothers and sisters miss it. A lot of them don't miss it. They understand it. Because if I take my presence away, I take the overseer class away, I leave the poor white people that we brung there to oversee y'all mm -hmm. and gave status over you. They stay there. They love their Kenyans now. They're Afrikaans now, right? That's their homeland now. They've been there 400 years, 50 years, however long. They get to keep their land that they inherited all that, right? But we're not going to stay here and meddle so much with what y'all doing. Now y'all can pick yourself up by your bootstraps. Oh, but the only thing, if, you, if you're the Congo, ain't no more rubber in those trees, man. Nope. We paved the fucking earth with it. We put tires on every fucking boat, car, trailer. and airplane and trailer with it. So those billion-dollar natural Pipes. resources that you all were born with, Mm -hmm. and, and and indigenous too depleting they're depleting and the and, 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 hold on and what's left the corporations that we set up are are ciphering that shit back to us anyway look so at, we don't need to live amongst you anymore and you can and you can be free in your homeland and speak your own language look what we did with quinoa nigga Versus, we made it un. They couldn't even afford it in their own country right. anymore, nigga. right? Like, but on, versus, bro. but versus. The American Negro, so-called. The American Aboriginal, mm -hmm. right? The American Indian. You enslaved us and reduced us to cattle. Yep. Fam, I was just watching some shit about mating farms where they would determine, hey, yeah, Dre, you know, like, yeah, he the had a- strong No, Dre just had brother. a baby. Yeah, he, that's his third baby, this, damn. He pumps him out? That nigga's a motherfucking producer. Great. So now I'm going to take Dre. We're going to hog tie you. Right? I'm going to put you in a room with five women. Now, those five women could be your aunt, your sister, your grandmother, your fucking niece, your daughter. I don't give a fuck, nigga. Produce another one. shit out of us That's but you see what i'm saying though like so when you get on that on that type of time and you produce these farms mm -hmm. and you produce these type this this type of environment when you when you're getting whipped and last now these are things that happened in africa during colonization as well right and and in the Car caribbeans creating another class of negro um mulatto race as they call it of biracial um people and making them a separate class than their than than black people and and treating them different uh teaching them different it gets deeper than oh they kind of invaded and conquered the land you know in our ancient history when when different indigenous black tribes here in america would conquer you will become an indentured servant you will you will become a part of the army you you will become you the women will be ingratiated into our culture. 
that's how the nations grew. They all start in my in minute tribes that grow into big nations. That's why if you go to ancient America where our people was roaming the earth free and unbothered, it was different nations. Even with our plain Indian, uh, the mongoloid race of Native Americans, our brothers, they and sisters, they, they even, it's the Navajo Nation. You know what I'm saying? Um, Niji Nation. And so because of those things, man, like our disdain for white supremacy, not white people, our disdain for white supremacy is different. Mm -hmm. If you talk to some of our brothers and sisters from there that come over here, their their relationship with that culture might be different. Like to them, we have a history. Things are different. We're rebuilding our country. We're taking our own. We, we 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 just claimed our independence. They have a different perspective. They might come to America and look at white people as allies. And if you say racist things, I just won't deal with you. They might look at America as Africa's allies in a lot of ways. Everybody's not politically astute, fam. No, you're right. There's a re- there's a lot of African people that can could be in America. They ain't coming here. Because they're politically astute. Very smart. They watch this news. They watch. They understand <laughs> that no, 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 no. We need to be like our uh, FBA brothers and sisters, man, and, and fight for this here. Right. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Like, we can't go over there. And we need to build shit this shit right. here. Yeah. What a lot of people that when I talk to a lot of people, man, I'd be like, bro, what you, what you got against? What do you got against immigrants? And for a long time, it was just Mexican immigrants. The disdain was like when I remember during the Bush years and, you know, even during the Obama years, man, when they were trying to make immigration a bad thing, they always was just showing a lot of Mexican people or Hispanic mm-hmm. people coming over the border, jumping the fence, doing this. And I was like, damn, they act like Hispanic people are the only They're definitely not undocumented people in the country. <laughs> like that ain't the case. Like, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? Like, have y'all been to New York or been to the East Coast? Like right. There's a lot of you ever been to Detroit, Eastern and Europeans and Albania shit like that, and Russians and shit like that. And I mean, yeah, right. So I'm like, I just thought that was always kind of weird, right? Nigga, uh, Florida. But the reason why I'm learning that they attacked the southern border, and I'm not saying that they deserve kudos for this, but I'm not saying I even agree. It's landmass. Mm-hmm. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, it's the. It's a lot border. easier. Or uh, dare I say, it's a lot harder to come into the country from Europe illegally. Yeah, that's true. Even Africa, certain hands have been yeah, washed. Yeah, because nigga, you got to go over on a boat. You've been allowed to be here. Yeah. Ill, even though you didn't came illegal, you've been allowed to be here. Paperwork is done, been right. done, all types of shit. So, with that being said, it, it's different. I just know that, like, so when we in our separate communities and cultures fight these these oppressors in, in that way in this oppressive system in that way what i mean by that is when i say oppressor it's not the 1800s it's not 1920 yeah there's probably not a group of white men pressing all the buttons they don't have to right their grandfathers created Pressed a system buttons created a system <laughs> that where the shit is in Oh yeah, they made the conveyor belt. You Man, that shit is yeah, that shit is an easy drive. It's automated. It's not automated. automated. <laughs> it's not automated. <laughs> that shit, that shit in cruise control. It got, you got to do maintenance every once in a while. Shit in cruise control. But it's though. good. You know what I'm saying? Right. Hey, and the number one rule is, don't mess up the shit. Yeah, so if you gotta concede over there a little bit to keep this shit going, go ahead and get them motherfuckers a holiday. Fuck it. Go ahead and give them a month. Oh yeah, fuck it. Go, go, yeah, go ahead and give him a judge. You know how we feel about Black History Month. Give him a judge, the dumbest right? Fucking thing ever. Give him a judge. Give him a give him this. Make her the first black woman to do this. Make yeah, make her. Right now, with even with Biden, Biden has that in him. Okay, I know that y'all own me. I know the only reason why I'm the president is because of Black Americans, and I know what I owe. I know what this country owes. Yeah. So in the meantime, take this bill that y'all been fighting for for two hundred years. Let me legalize. Let me try and legalize. Let me tell you. Let me tell quick. everybody that can hear my voice, fam. The anti-lynching bill is good. It's cool. Okay, great. The problem with that is camera phones became the anti-lynching bill. Yep. 
Or that shit wouldn't exist. When you get the shit on camera, that's how you get justice, nigga. And that's how you prove that they killed Ahmaud Aubrey for no reason. Or they did this to George Floyd. So, and then you can go back and do the investigation. Like, oh, this motherfucker said all black people should die. Oh, this motherfucker this, all that. Okay, so it's not rocket science. We needed the anti-lynching bill when hundreds of black men and women were being lynched because they had nice things. Yeah. Are being lynched because they refuse to show deference. Or being lynched because a white woman says that he wh- they whistled at him. Right. So it, it's just those type of things, man. I, the, I the, the young man that the fucking bill is named after. So we got off tangent, but I, what I was pulling together from an earlier conversation, I do want to get this in. Because my sister was just like, how can you correlate a person going over there to help Ukraine with what they're going through? To a person that like to that person, why like him staying in Detroit and doing? I was like, so Ariva, like he's saying that he wants to make sure they're safe and liberate them. I said, you know we're how many single? I didn't say this to her. I, cause, uh, it just took me the air out of me. But this is what I wanted to say. I was like, man, because I could see it was about to start to a debate, and I didn't really have it. Like, man, whatever. All right, I don't think you understand More what I'm trying to say, and I didn't have the energy to articulate it. But my thought was like, sis, like I pick up a gun. I'm legal, right? I have the right to bear these arms. I fought for this country. I'm militarily trained. There's black women in Detroit that fear walking home from work every day. Mm-hmm. There's elderly women in Detroit that don't get their mail until their grandchildren come over because they don't want to walk to the fucking mailbox. Because of fucking knuckleheads outside. So this notion that you can't protect black people from black people. It's bullshit. Because you're going to Ukraine to protect white people from white people. When they don't give a fuck about us. So I'm just saying, like, the idea of that, that's how sick they made us. Yeah, that's the, what I'm talking that's, about, that's the mental a, part yeah, that's the of mental, Willie Lynch. The is that like, bro, that black people you're are, telling me right now that there's not a woman that wouldn't have benefited from a good-minded brother walking down the street with that, M, with that fucking semi-automatic and just saying, yo, two hours a day, I'm just walking down this ass because I heard a lot of women be getting raped and getting sent on missions here. Mm-hmm. Gorilla pimped. I know there's a lot of 13 to 15 to 16 year old girls on this avenue Come up missing. getting put out here and sent out here by gorilla pimps and their parents is looking for them. Mm-hmm. If you're going to risk your life and do that, because the, like when she said it to me, it was almost like, oh, well, you know what could happen to him here. And I get it. She was talking about the cops police. Gonna roll up, the cops roll up nigga, on you. Yeah. All that truth. But nigga, the idea that you think that your ass can walk in the fucking Ukraine, Ukraine as a welcoming figure with a gun. What makes you think after you uh, help do what you do it's good. that your ass is coming home? Right. And you willing to take that risk? And that'd be my problem with some of my military brothers and sisters, man. Because shout out to Geronimo Pratt. Here's the when problem. he came home, let me finish. When he came home from the military, bro, he he enlisted into the Panthers and taught them how to be a military. Right. That, to me, is protected and serving. To me, that's being what all the commercials say about. Because you want to go and allegedly train and teach people <laughs> how to fight their oppressors. Right. While supporting an oppressive class and fighting for an oppressive class right here in the country. Right. But because motherfuckers got iPhones... And a little gold and a nice watch on or some shit like they that. They don't realize that they still third world country-ish. Or, nigga, same or, shit. or you telling me that I don't get to complain about my status or right, about the yeah, way shit going yeah, on. Because I, be I got on Jordans, nigga. Right. Or because, nigga, this is my culture. This is how we live right now. This phone, this, this all this shit. On. Hey, man. How, what, what, equipment. what kind of job? Man, the funny thing is you can't get a job today without a smartphone. Half the motherfucking job. You go to a job or something, nigga. These little joints. I was like, oh, we have apps no more. We sent no. We sent you this app. That's where your motherfucking W two. No, I'm be on. and we have, woo, 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 woo. They they don't pay, have paper. Paper applications don't exist no that's more. That's what I mean. Like, yeah, all. that's what I mean. Yeah, they don't have. They don't paper It'd be like, nigga, nigga what, like, what happened during the pandemic? You go to a restaurant, nigga. You got to, hey, nigga, boop. get the menu. Yep. Oh, you don't have the menu. The crazy thing, like, yeah. The the crazy thing is just the mentality of black people. We always want to help. Everybody but ourselves, but our because own we're taught community. To, I, we're taught, I feel like we're taught to strive to be Americans, mm-hmm. right? No, you're and black right. America is is negative. Mm-hmm. That's an Unless you're talking about music and sports, right? Right? Like, cause even like they don't really fuck with Martin Luther King, bro. This country hated Martin Luther King. They definitely don't fuck with Malcolm. Yeah. They didn't like Rosa Parks. They hated Muhammad Ali. 
Like these, this is just facts. They don't like LeBron. They can't. Can't stand LeBron, bro. When I be hearing certain can't people, stand Kyrie. When I hear certain people, like this is the thing about Kyrie. Kyrie says things that's at least polarizing. Yeah. LeBron don't say polarizing shit. Right, he just stands on his shield. Look how the motherfuckers hate Colin Kaepernick. Yeah, you would think, dog. The 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 amount of rapists. I mean, documented rapists. The amount of uh, documented batters, abusers. women b- b- abusers. Um. And a few murderers. Yep. All worthy of playing in the NFL shield. Drunk, drunk drivers, drug addicts. Cap, cap, all worse. All types of shit. Nigga. For taking cap, a stand cap for is the worst. social justice. Bro, I love Mike Orvin. I'm a Dallas Cowboys fan. Cokehead. Like I said, I love Michael Irvin. I'm a Dallas Cowboys fan. Mm-hmm. But I be watching Michael Irvin on TV, nigga. Like, he has no skeletons in his closet on Disney. Yep. And Cap can't be nowhere around the league. And it's just like, because if Cap said what he said and was just like, you know, out of the mistreatment of Jewish people around the world. Nigga, whoa, whoa, Ray whoa. Lewis. No, hold on. If Cap said oh, what Jewish he said people, about Jewish people, right? about the mistreatment and police brutality around the world about for Jewish people, it have you think that he would be banned from the league? Fuck no, he would have been championed, celebrated. Even if he wasn't celebrated and championed, he would have got a kudos. Like, yeah, yeah, Cap, good for you. He's a good guy. Speaking out for oppression. Yeah, because you see what people. happened to Nick when he went right. after, when he said something about the Jewish people. Right. So now, you say this, you say that about black people where all the, they love to tell you. We're all the documented. They love history. to tell you the statistics of how fucked up it is being black in America. Mm-hmm. But they, they love they, to remind you of that. Nigga, you're going to die earlier than all of us. Nigga, you're going to go to jail more likely than all of us. Nigga, you ain't going to be as educated. Nigga, your house is just going to be fucked up. Nigga, yeah, yeah. All this shit. They love to do that. So with all that documentation and evidence and data, a person says that about said community, nigga, and he's the worst motherfucker in sports. Dog, I seen this one like Polynesian lady. It went viral. She was yelling at Cap so much his teammates started getting at her. And she was around all these dudes. So she felt in, you know, like, yeah. and he's a celebrity like football player, so they're not about to run out. They just chilling, they just taking it. They used to it. But she was going so hard that Cap was about to leave. Like, man, I'm, let me get up out of here, bro. And his teammates just went like, like hey, man. And they kind of like, then when they stood up, them dudes knew the nigga to shut that bitch up. Yeah, because nigga. Because nigga will mop, molly wop you niggas in here. Yeah. We'll beat the shit out. And the shit that she's like, saying don't make sense. Tell that bitch stop watching Fox News. Yeah. Like, I don't even respect nobody that brings up Colin Kaepernick in the fucking military. No. It has nothing to do with each other. Because it was a military man told him don't sit, kneel. The military has a fucking paid contract for propaganda with the fucking NFL and allows the NFL to break the rules of the handling of the goddamn flag. Yeah. The flag's never supposed to be horizontal. We watch that shit horizontal oh, yeah, right. every fucking Sunday. Yeah. Big. You're not supposed to wear the flag. On anything. On memorabilia. Yep. You know how many USA hats and fucking handkerchiefs and fucking wallets is in Walmart right now? The whole right wing disrespects the flag by their cultural identity. Right. When the motherfuckers got the flag on the bike and all this, all that, that ain't the vibe. That ain't that ain't cult. Our, we're not supposed to have it on our house either. Right. right? Now that ain't cult, but it's the thing though. This is the thing. I agree with you, motherfuckers. If you're saying that that only exists for military men and women, because mm-hmm. to me, as a free American, I'm gonna rock my FBA flag and USA flag however the fuck I want to. And ain't nobody gonna find me for it. Right. Well, this ain't a communist country, right? But if I'm in the military, then maybe that is a ding on me. Like, hey man, you fl- you floss flagging. Niggas get mad when I equate everything to gang culture. Yeah. But I digress. Right. Niggas digress. hate when you hit them with facts. The army hates <laughs> the nigga. Marine niggas hate the army nigga. Army niggas hate navy. Everybody gang culture. It. Yeah. Highway Patrol don't give a fuck about nigga uh, PD. Nigga PD don't give a fuck about Metro. Sheriff don't give a fuck about none of them. Gang culture. U.S. Marshals think they all stupid. If you look at any major city, the sheriff and the police chief is beefing. Yep. All day. Gang culture. (laughs) Gang culture, bro. Like, everything. It's always like that. Nigga, the fire department be beefing with the EMT. You know what I'm saying? Right. 
They be beefing with the EMT and shit like that. Like, man. But when you bring that up, man, people are so, we're so tribal and so, like, um, connected to some of these ancillary things that we think that there are our identities. So when you, when you attack policing, um, and I'm married to a police officer, you're attacking my family. You're attacking my wife. Um, if you attack a Republican leadership, and my grandparents are Republican, therefore all of our parents, all of my parents, and all of my grand, all the grandkids vote Republican. You're attacking my family. Right, and that ain't the case, man. Like, I think Chris Rock said it, bro. It's some shit I'm Republican about. Mm-hmm. Nah, for real, that's it's real. Some shit I'm. I'm trying to get. My I'm bread. liberal about. I want to get my dough. I want. And then it's some rich. shit that I'm like, you know, like maybe in the in the middle about, like you know, um, watching the Ukraine shit. I used to always be like, oh, we don't need that much military. I mean, we we be bugging. Nah, you need no, that much military. We cool, because motherfuckers are still out here foul, bro. Mm-hmm. And it, I, I argued with somebody, and they was just like, oh, you, you call everything white supremacy. This isn't white supremacy. And I was like, bro, don't get confused that because black Ukraine isn't a black country or a brown country that this isn't white supremacy. All right, nigga, Germany was white supremacy. He's nigga. treating them just like he treated the Syrians. Yeah. Right? Just like Jerusalem treated the series. Like, like they're going, our Israel, they, they're going, you know, hey, man, at the end of the day, this is a head of a white nation that deals in separatism. There's a classism there. There's there's rich Russia that the celebrities go to, mm-hmm. right? And that they have pro Monaco fights at, and, and they host the Olympics and shit. Yep. And then there's Russia, Russia. Morocco. Where the people are struggling and oppressed greatly, right? Fam, you can't have a President Putin do the things that he do in front of the world and get away with it for decades. A lot of talking points. Oh, we'll get some aid over here. We'll do this. We don't agree with it. But then, like, and I'm going to keep driving this home. People think I'll be making, like, crazy correlations, but my mind just works this way. I'm like, fam, they, they murdered Martin Luther King. Who was telling the most, some of the most oppressed people in the world mm-hmm. to be nonviolent. Our parents and grandparents are still of that mindset. We come from warrior people. We come from Malcolm. Look what they did to the religion structure because they knew we were spiritual people. They made it docile. Can't be a Christian with revenge in your heart. Why would I tell you that? Of course, I know why. I got an idea. Right? So, it's just, it gets deep, bro. It gets deep. It's not a, um, you know, it's not a one-take situation. It's a revolving door, but God help us. Universe, green aliens. Whoever. We need all that. Whoever the fuck is living in the bottom of the ocean. That shit freaks me out, bro. I'm not even gonna lie to you. Nigga, fact that there's pools of water in the ocean. That's what I'm saying. That's what, bro. The fact that we, look how nosy, and look, bro, I'm not be, I'm trying to make this all racy, but we all know humans are the most nosiest creatures, right? The fact that we ain't, we don't know everything about the ocean, like, Think about what it. Think about that. So we be in planet. different planet structures and atmospheres and all around, allegedly to the moon and shit like but that. We be out of space. Out how to get into the bottom of the but ocean. niggas ain't really just went to the bottom of the shit. Like nigga, I'm right here. Nigga, I'm the first nigga to. Niggas want to. Niggas couldn't wait to be the first nigga over Mount Everest. Mm-hmm. 
all these divers that just be swimming with sharks and obviously you're not scared. You out here with great whites it's and killer whales. You know what it is? It's the water pressure. I know that. But what I'm saying is, nigga, the water pressure versus when they first decided to send a motherfucker out of space, them two things couldn't be too like the hard like well, I feel like than the other. I just feel like they had more data on the water pressure than they did what was gonna happen if they launched a nigga in space. And you gotta think about it. And they still launched a nigga in space. Man. Yeah, because they knew that first nigga could have never on, came home. Well, there's the first thing. Probably didn't. Let's do the first two. Let's do the comparison right now. They knew there was no gravity in space. They did enough tests. Right, nigga. They know if you go deep enough in the water, you gonna die. They gonna crush. You gonna crush to death, nigga. Right there is nigga. Okay, we know you ain't gonna be crushed. So that's what I'm saying. The atmospheric though. pressure. I get. I get the reason. The cause, right? Mm-hmm. But what I'm saying is, with the innovative spirit of America and Europe, all these other places, China, humans, with the arrogance of humans, mm. with the need to know. I mean, they've tried. They've and sent all unmanned the, I know, submarines like, and they I just know, crush. Like, I know. They sent, like, I mean, death. a dude, just, dude that just, uh, was it Steven Spielberg? One of them motherfuckers. The dude who just, made just, Avatar. Just, yeah, just, just, like, I've just seen some shit where they went to like the furthest depth ever. Yeah, it's the dude from Avatar. Dude. And another thing is, Dude There's no light down avatar. there. None. Nigga, I'm talking about nigga. You can't see in front of your hand dark in the ocean. Cold as fuck. And everything else see you. Yeah. Yeah. Everything down there is made to see down there. <laughs> and niggas, you don't see nothing in the video and shit, but you know there's shit just out there looking but fam, at you. Like, but then the on the fuck? camera though, these motherfuckers is fluorescent, nigga. They hella bright. Turn that light off, nigga. And it's darkness. And water pressure. I think that's strange. Like I wouldn't be surprised I if feel all like that they're shit. They're more scared of the ocean and the depths of the yeah. water than they are. I that's what's what crazy saying. to yeah. me, nigga. Like they are for sure. Fam, you looked up at the moon and was like, "Yeah, I think we got that." Yeah. Because I think and what not, it is. Like, just think, I think hear hold me on, out, hold fam. on. I think what it is, and also it's a clear. You could see the moon from here. I feel you. You can't see the bottom. Of hey, it. If nigga, they could see the bottom of the ocean, turn off all these different. lights and be like, "Yo, walk over there." Woo. I'm gonna be a little different, nigga. Like, oh shit. It's nigga, like that. On. It was like that drive from here to Reno. If you, you can't really see shit, bright. if that shit was in a tunnel with lights, it ain't nothing, nigga. <laughs> right? That motherfucker get dark, nigga. Don't accidentally turn off your lights. Oh shit! Yeah, imagine how quiet it is at the bottom I've of the done ocean, that nigga. No, that's scary. <laughs> Silence. I'm a city baby, bro. <laughs> Abject silence, nigga, is scary to me. You can do a deprivation change, huh? No, nigga, it's one of my scariest nights in Reno. Nigga, we be out kicking it, nigga, at somebody's backyard or something, chilling, smoking, drinking. We gotta try. We gonna try. And that then that moment, side, hold on. And then that moment of where everybody just not it's talking. Quiet. Yeah. Nigga, I get the, bro, y'all. They're like, what's wrong with you? I'm like, bro, that it's quiet. Let's go in the house. It's too quiet out here. And people didn't understand what I meant. Like, what are you talking about, bro? Like, the worst shit happens when it gets to And nigga, this shit like a scary movie. And you know, we don't believe in street lights and shit in residential areas. Yeah. Fuck you mean you want to walk to your house, nigga? Hey, nigga, ain't you no lights do a on this sensory shit. deprivation chamber? What is that? You That's where they, they you float in the water and, and, it's, and dark. it's just quiet and dark. Hey, see, bro, I'm not a good floater. No, you get a life jacket. You don't float off your own accord. They oh, that's what I'm saying. Like, that's what I always thought. I'm like, yeah, nigga, no, no, I don't no, know no, if I can no. float that good to no, do no, that no, shit. No, because they don't want to worry about somebody drowning because you might fall asleep in there. No, they, you get life vests. You be just, but you don't hear nothing. What the fuck it is, is it for? Complete, it's just a sensory deprivation chamber. It's just something to relieve stress, I guess. I'll try this shit. But it's just silence. But I need a, I need a safe word, V, like. Oh no, there is. There's like a um, get me the fuck out of here are, now. No, people are watching you. They can hear you. You can't hear shit. But there's a mic in there. Niggas is hearing it because they want you to be able to be like, "Hey, I'm done. You're, you're. yeah, <laughs> get your guy. <laughs> yeah, this is not flying, man. But yeah, complete silence. You just in there with your thoughts, nigga. I don't know. I don't know, bro. I gotta be right. I gotta have a good month, nigga. Like. Could you imagine doing some shrooms or something? Yeah. And going into a sensory deprivation. I'm dr- you're drowning. <laughs> you fuck around and flip face first down that motherfucker for some reason. Hey, bro, I'm not doing that shit. We got to holler at a shroom guy too, man. Get him on the pot. I wanted to kind of wait till you was ready. 
I might be tripping. Shout out to the motherfucking homie, the Kush Kid clothing right here. Local Vegas dude. Go find him at the motherfucking container park. Shout out to him. Kush Kid clothing. Nigga ain't give me no shirt. I bought this nigga. Right, what's up, man? Give us some free shit. He told, I told you about it. He told us to go back up there for some comic books and some t-shirts for the show. You ain't told me that. I did because I'm like, hey, this shit, he wants us to go back up there. Oh, well, nigga, why we ain't go up there? Nah, you nigga. God, anyway, what we got? We need to go up there. For sure. I, I got nothing, nigga. I ain't had shit this whole time. Oh, we just... It's freestyling, nigga. It was one of them days, man. Well, oh, man. it's been another episode of the Always Talking Shit Show. We'll see you on Wednesday early. 11 yeah, we're going to switch it up. Sharp. I'm going to start making events for this shit. We're going to be on time. Let's get it right. New Always Talking Shit Show. Go check show. out the YouTube page, man. Well, fuck you.